pants. What, Francine? What, what's well, up? I think those are possibly the gayest pants <laughs> I've ever seen on a this. man. <laughs> Even his bulge is showing. <laughs> what are you eating there, Francine? His, uh, you can see an imprint of his penis on through his pants. What, and, are, you, what are you eating? Oh, it's a banana. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Banana. A banana. They have accent. potassium. That's K on the scale of energy. <laughs> <laughs> the scale of energy? You mean the periodic table of elements? I failed that class two times. Of course so you did. <laughs> <laughs> of energy? I hated that chemistry shit. No one likes it. No one likes it. It was right. very difficult. I don't doubt for you. Yes. Yeah, that was... So the first time I tried, I think I got a D, which is pretty good considering I tried. Yeah. And then the second time, I just slept. I was like, I'm not even going to try this. And she had a B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to try this. She rolls. It was too much stuff and chemicals. and. That's what chemistry is, <laughs> chemicals. <laughs> That's why it's called chemistry. So the first project that I had to do, the lady was like, well, if you get any of this crap on your hands, it's going to turn a different color, and it's going to be like that for like two weeks. So I was like, I think I'll just sleep. <laughs> Why would I do this? <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> you know, in an some odd lo- way. There's some logic there. Yeah, Ed. she almost makes sense. There's some logic there. Yeah, it's like when one of my teachers told me in ninth grade, she said we had to touch a snake so we could feel the similarity of the birds to the dinosaurs. And I was like, why would we touch a snake? They're scary. Right. So I failed that class, too. <laughs> I was actually the biology teacher with his fucking zipper open. <laughs> yeah. You have to touch the snake, Francine. <laughs> she was a woman. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And really the fun. snake was a garden snake. So she said, oh, you shouldn't be afraid of garden snakes. But I was like, it's a snake. Right. Good point. There's <laughs> a lot of logic there. I ain't touching this motherfucking snake in this motherfucking yeah. classroom. <laughs> Tell that bitch to go fuck herself. Mother freaking... <laughs> Yeah, that was private school, and I got kicked out. A private school? I went to Sandy Spring Friends School in Olney in Maryland. Friends school? Yeah. So what's what up? What does for that it? mean? Yeah. Well, it's a friend school. It means the Quakers came up with it. Look at this pig on Tyra. Really? Yeah, it's a Quaker school. Ugh. We get to, like, do Quakery stuff. Ugh. Look at this pig on Tyra. A balloon. 13 and really fat already. She has oh. nice hair, though. That's yeah, sweet. that's wonderful. <laughs> she is huge. And she's, again, a flat, so look at her boobies. They don't come up over her belly. Daryl allows Tasha, 13, to eat whatever she wants. Oh, he's an enabling fuck. That's her, it has yeah, to be her father, right? Nah, that's a problem. Where's uh, the audio of Steve? I mean, Francine's killing, but... Yeah, come on. We, we love Francine. I, we have, want... I have some news, if you'd like. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, Francine pregnant? has news. Huh? Do pregnant? we have to explain Francine Me, to pregnant? the new listeners? No. All right, fuck She was our intern years ago, and um, she and I have a, a very uh, a good relationship. Oh, a very good one. Yeah. Why? Why is it good? We love each other. Yes, and if Jimmy had never slept with transsexuals, I would be with him. Wow. And if you were a transsexual, I'd be with you. <laughs> <laughs> that was holding you back, Francine? Yeah, it's too much for me. I'm very homophobic. Yeah? Yeah, so... That's why whenever Steve walks by, she just goes, ah, and hides. <laughs> <laughs> I come from a very homophobic family. Do you? Nothing against the gays. It just, you know, it's my background and stuff. And I'm Catholic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do not yeah, I, grew, thing, I grew up the same way with uh, other people, not gays, but the other, other people. It was just about my upbringing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just really weird. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you find yourself, you know, using derogatory terms for certain people. And, and you don't really mean it. It's just the way you were raised. It's just the way I was raised. <laughs> Jeez. Like, works with me. Like last week, I went out with my model <laughs> friend in D.C. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, it was a fashion show. But um, I didn't expect that many gay people to be there. At a fashion show? <laughs> Yeah, so um, some guy comes up to us and starts talking to us, <laughs> and he was really, really nice, and I thought he was straight. Yes, he was. Then we're walking towards another club, because we were going to go bar hopping, mm. and uh, he goes, so uh, you were really feeling that model, weren't you? And it was some girl, she was really pretty, her name's Kate Michaels, she's actually really hot. He was like, yeah, you were looking at her, you really want her, don't you? I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, "Are you? do you go both ways? I was like, no, I don't go both ways. He's, I was like, you know, I'm really into dick, you know, dick all up in my mouth, dick all in my pussy and my ass. 
You know what he said? He said, mm-hmm, me too. Oh, and shit. And I was like, oh, wow, you're gay? Damn, yo. Yeah. So the girl I was with ended up sleeping with him that night, which was so weird. Ew. I was sleeping over. That's how I knew they slept together. She slept with a gay guy. Well, then he must... I, you know, that's probably a hell of an act he's got then. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm so gay. I, is that the chick right there? Uh, she's pretty hot. She pretty, is That's so, your friend? I saw. I met her there, and I was trying to get her card so we could be friends, but she didn't... Oh, you wanted to be friends. Oh, that's cool. She's a model. She's Miss DC 2006. What does she pose for? Longneck.com? <laughs> Jesus. No, she's she really sure she's living in Loch Ness? No, you <laughs> <laughs> She's really pretty. She is, if she has a fucking long neck. <laughs> I think you're Jimmy hating Jimmy spoils no, everything. No, I'm not. Man. I'm not. Why are you She's spoil beautiful. everything? Oh, She's beautiful. That neck. No, she's All right. So the neck I like a girl who can eat an apple out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, the neck is a little long. Of course it is. All right. You but have it's to that meet her statuesque in- looking. She's very pretty. Let's go to Dano in Kentucky. Dano. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good evening. Hey, uh, I was wondering, did you mean garter snake? It's a garter snake, not a garter snake. Yes, it is a what garter is snake. It's a black chick prejudiced against trannies. You believe that shit? <laughs> In this day and age. In this day and age. All right. Francine is just trying to find a reason why she shouldn't love me. Oh. That's all it is. She's afraid of our love. Well, you're sitting on his lap there, Francine. So you, you know. I sit on everybody's lap. Don't make me not feel special. Okay, I don't sit on everybody's lap. <laughs> <laughs> a girl. We've discussed this. A muscular. <laughs> Where's our yeah. audio? I'm very cooperative. Oh, what do you mean by that? Are you? Yeah. You're like submissive? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I'm into cavemen. But you don't, but I remember you saying you don't give blowjobs. And last night I didn't, and I think the guy who's dating me is going to dump me now. Because you're, you're not blowing him? Why yep. not? Why what? aren't you blowing him? Well, uh, I'm really afraid of AIDS. That's pretty much it. What, a what is this guy doing? <laughs> that makes you afraid that he has the AIDS. Well, when we were going out like five years ago, he cheated on me with his girlfriend, which was really, really bad. So why are you back with him? I don't know. That's a good question. Low self-esteem? Yeah, probably. Yeah. When she's 29. Ch- yeah, um, yeah you know. you're ready to flip Fra- the odometer. <laughs> Francine, how could he cheat on you with his girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> good good question, Dan. That guy like- passed us all. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> Well, uh, we were going out for about, I think, a month or something. And I thought, okay, maybe it's time we had sex or something. So I had sex with him. And then after he had sex with me, he rolls over and goes, my girlfriend's going to be here in like six hours, so you need to leave. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. So what did you do? Left? Yeah. <laughs> six hours? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my girlfriend's coming back from a trip next week. You got to get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, I know. She just, yeah, she, just, she's it. she just boarded the red eye. Can you go? <laughs> yeah. It was a very bad experience. But you're back yeah. so it wasn't that bad. Um, I guess so. Do you good? Does he treat you good? Well, he pays for everything. So. I mean, you know. You like when guys pay for everything. Sexually. Yeah, most guys will yeah, do that. you good? good? Yeah. Do you go down on you? He did last week, so I guess that's why he was expecting it. How oh, was it? okay. So what? Well, how was he expecting it? How did you know he was expecting it? Did he say, could you suck my dick? Or did yeah, he pretty much. position himself? And what did you say? No? I said, no, uh, maybe next time or something. Oh, and, oh. Then, and then what happened? Um, did he go like, oh, fuck. Or well, he was like, you're going you're gonna to lose me if you don't start sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Class act. I love You're gonna this guy. lose this fucking special man here. <laughs> really? yeah. You don't start sucking my. Boy, dick. What a keeper you got. Thank you. Did he lick your pussy good? <laughs> he was all right. You know. What was wrong? That's no good. Yeah. What was wrong? He was all right. And all right's not good. I've what, had better. What was he doing wrong? Maybe you could teach the guys out there. Yeah. He didn't go down long enough. Did he make you come? Um, not that time. Oh, boy. And he's awful. Yeah. He's awful. He did it in between uh, the Cavaliers and the game that they were playing with the other people. So that was pretty special. <laughs> the magic. In between? When he was in between? Halftime? halftime? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he had 15 minutes. Pretty much. We got mm-hmm. the audio? Yeah. All right, good. The filler's over. Thanks, Francine. <laughs> Some people become famous for things they've done. One young bride-to-be is becoming famous for what she hasn't done. She's never kissed her fiancé, or any boyfriend for that matter. Yeah. King Faz Alyssa Han has the story that's new at 10. So, but you did have a good day at work? Mm-hmm. 
In a day and age when abstinence till marriage seems more the exception than the rule, 21-year-old Rachel Welch decided to take it one step further and not kiss anyone till she married. She made the decision when she was 14. That'll keep me out of trouble and... I just wanted that to be a special gift for the man I was to be married to. Welch and her fiancé, Todd Ritter, met through their church youth group. Ritter has kissed other girls in the past, but he found Rachel's approach refreshing. Finally found someone who, <clears throat> who really respected herself, and so that made me respect her even more. What do you, what do you think of that one, Francine? She's, she's not even kissing. She's lying. You think she's lying? Why? She probably sucked cock instead. How do you not kiss guys? Are you no. serious? She doesn't mm. kiss Here, nothing until she gets married. One of my friends told me that, uh, like, in countries where there's, like, boarding school and stuff, because he went to boarding school. Mm. And you, uh, did he? Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> no, but in countries where you, you, like, say, well, you know, if you if your husband knows you're not a virgin, he's not going to marry you. He said they just do it in the butt instead. Sure. So I think it's just natural to just want to do it. So how do you not want to kiss at least? Yeah, she's got some kind of issue, right, Francine? Yeah. She's fucked up. Either she that wanted. or she's really ugly and nobody wanted to kiss her anyway. She wouldn't want to, she didn't kiss them, but they would rub clear stuff on her lips at the end of the night. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> so, uh, Francine, she doesn't kiss guys. She's lying. She's got a, uh, is she, is this a fiance? They are getting married? Mm hmm. I want to see a picture of her. What I do don't believe it. What do you think they do? Besides, uh, they're, they're not kissing. So, what do you think they do to show affection there, Francine? I, that's really nuts. Like when I was like twelve, I used to think about boys. So, how is she twenty-one and hasn't kissed anybody? And there yeah, she is, prude. She's all right. She's a lying cunt. Who did she? <laughs> <laughs> so many guys probably tried to bang her. Are you serious? No. Oh my god! If she said she was a virgin, I'd believe it, but not that she hasn't kissed anybody. <laughs> no way. A lying cunt. All right, let's see what she does for affection. Rachel credits her parents, particularly her mother, for her resolve and self-respect. I made her know that. I said, you're a prize. The couple admits it isn't easy. They find other ways to express their affection. We, we rub noses and we, um, we give hugs. If I'm over here and everyone's in bed, I go home. You know, just because we don't want to put ourselves in a place where we know we might stumble. But you can bet on their uh, wedding day this July there'll be added anticipation and anxiety when their pastor says you may now kiss the bride. A lot of my guy friends think that, you know, oh, that's, what if she's a terrible kisser? Or, she will know, what be. If, what if there's just no sparks? It won't be. And, uh, which are things I'm not, I'm not worried about. And I know because be. I love him that it doesn't matter if it's a really good kiss. We have our whole life to... To work on it. Oh, oh stop God. it. This is the biggest Are mistake you, you can make. Here's what's going to happen. They're going to kiss. It's going to suck. They're going to fuck. It's going to suck. And then she's going to be all frustrated. He's going to be frustrated. They're going to fuck other people. And this marriage is doomed. Francine, that's a comment. I think she was sexually abused by somebody in her family. How could you not want to have sex? Oh, well, or kiss Paul. people. Holla! <laughs> her uncle probably did her. He's a good girl. No, she's not. We're, we're missing another she's angle She's a weirdo. No, we're missing another weird. angle. Joe she's and, a fucking queer. Joe in Nebraska. She's weird. Joe in Nebraska has another angle. Joe! Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Joe. Hey, you know what it is? If, if anybody's ever seen that Richard Queer movie back in the early 90s, you don't kiss a fucking whore. She probably does everything... Yeah. Butt kiss, and, oh, and, yeah, and yeah. no one asked her about the other. Stuff. Well, I don't mind having a big <laughs> one in my <laughs> ass. <laughs> yeah. Take a shot in the jaw from the cock. <laughs> she won't take the fucking tongue or the fucking lips. What do you do for affection? I'll lay him on the bathroom floor and shit in his mouth. <laughs> right. That's why I don't kiss him. <laughs> she probably oh, gets fisted. It, it sit on my ass. Yeah. Hey, I like your I like your thought there, Joe. Impossible. Have a good one. Punching out. Joe in Nebraska. <laughs> I think I've we taken think in the ass and yeah. a fucked silly. I've had yeah. gang bangs and <laughs> right. everything, but I don't kiss. I'm the cracker with circle jerks. <laughs> <laughs> they need to run an STD test on her. That's the only way I'd believe it. Why? What if she doesn't have an STD? She might. She have. has to have. There's no way. You're so petrified of STDs. Yes, I am. What do you have? I don't have any. Yeah, what have you gotten in the past what that you got? Like? I got gonorrhea once. <laughs> <laughs> sure. right. No, wait, no, it was chlamydia. I'm sorry. All right. It was curable, so I'm all good. Who gave you chlamydia? It was my boyfriend. 
The boyfriend with the girlfriend? No, that was another boyfriend. Oh, and how did he get it? Probably from another girlfriend. Well, I would assume from some other girl. But... Yeah. And uh, did he know he had it when he fucked you? Uh, I don't think so. And how did you know you had it? Um, well, it was unfortunate. My mom found out I was having sex with him, and she took me to get tested. And it turned out I had the big chlamydia. <laughs> but they gave me some penicillin, and yeah. it was all good. So it went away? You didn't have any signs, though? No, it, nothing happened. Huh. It's a great thing to have, because you can get rid of it. <laughs> it's also, it also can be a silent. Uh, yes. <laughs> It, it can be silent. It can make women sterile, too, if you, you have it I don't know if I want kids, enough. so I don't care. Well, apparently, from your other story, you don't want kids. <laughs> you, maybe now? Um, By the time I have kids, you know, I'll probably be able to make something and leave it in a jar somewhere, and it will grow. <laughs> Oh my God. Like one of those potato plants with the toothpicks in it? Like the in Matrix. The They'll just grow in a bubble somewhere. Oh, okay. And then, and then I'll go to the hospital and pick it up and... I'll never even have to do anything. I won't carry it. I won't get stretch marks. Nothing. Yeah. It'll, it'll be great. You don't want to, uh, any of that shit. No, I don't. No. Oh, all right. Chlamydia. So that's what uh, we found out. Unbelievable. She had chlamydia. And it didn't hurt. At one point. <laughs> and it didn't hurt. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. I'm very happy. But that's the only thing I've ever gotten. I've been clean ever since. Inspirational words. <laughs> From Francine. I had chlamydia, but it didn't hurt. The Worst, Francine story. Not one Worst bit. to live by. That's right. If you're going to get something, get chlamydia. It's, uh, so, that's about, their slogan, I think. Uh, I'll go for Chlamydia, it does a body good. <laughs> <laughs> How about a cold before chlamydia? If you get, uh, have to get something. Uh, what do you mean? You said if you have to get something, chlamydia. I would say if, I, if you have to get something, a cold. Well, I was too young. I didn't really know a lot about diseases and stuff. Was, How old were you? I was 14 when I got chlamydia. Jeez. 14? Yep. When was it your was, first uh, it time? It was my you... first boyfriend. He gave it to me. How old was he? Nice. Yeah. Was he a white guy or a black guy? He was a black guy, and he was 19. Yeah? And then would you swear off black guys? I've dated some black guys, too, you know. I've yeah. done both. More white than black? Mm, no, I've done more black guys than white guys. Really? Yeah. Because when when last I asked you this many years ago, you had said you'd done more white guys. So have you had more black guys recently? Oh, I guess so. Yeah? Because you're down in D.C., right? Yeah, there's a lot of black guys there. Yeah, yeah. Do you shave, Francine? Yes, I do. How Probably? much? Not enough, but I do shave. Not enough? Want to show uh, what, do no, mean, not well, what do you mean not enough? You leave some? I should shave more often. Oh, oh more often. Sometimes I get a little lazy. Do you shave it all off when you do shave? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you let it grow in. And, and a little stubble here and there, and then I cut it off again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Fred C. Me too. Uh, can you I intern again? You. Um, sure. So you had you had sex with this guy at 14. When did you start? 14? 13? 14, yeah. 14? Mm -hmm. Boy, and you get chlamydia right off the fucking bat? But it wasn't AIDS or anything, you know, like or herpes. <laughs> Jeez, but it's, it's the still first something. sexual experience you have, and it, you get chlamydia. <coughs> that's fucked up. That's all right. I just think well, that's it. You consider yourself a winner. I got over it. We got a guy in the line that thinks he had sex with you. He probably did. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of sex until I was like, uh, probably about eighteen. Yeah. I fucked a lot of people. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. Good girl. <laughs> like how many would you say? Um. I think by the time I was 25, probably like 65 guys. <laughs> 65? <laughs> I stopped counting. <laughs> I love her. You never, you never told us this. You always kept it like kind of innocent yeah, with us. Yeah, because I, I, I don't know. It's not like... I, nobody really knows who I am anyway. No I fucked a lot of, of motherfuckers. I don't care. Condoms work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made sure they work on Oh, yeah. After chlamydia, I had to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because my mom was like, you could have gotten AIDS. And I was like, yeah, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I only got chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, 65 guys. <laughs> no, that was my 22, actually. So, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I slowed down though, around 19. Yeah, you slowed down to so what? So it's probably like three six. a day? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta piss, I'm right back. Uh, yeah, get that whore off your lap. No, no, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I have to tinkle badly. Yeah. 
can we uh, say hi to Bobby in Jersey? Bobby? Yeah, let's see if Bobby's one of the guys that fucked uh, Francine. Great hi. boy. Hey, Bobby. Would you like to play Did I Fuck Francine? <laughs> I'll take Dirty Cooch for 100, Alex. <laughs> Bobby from Jersey, uh, why do you think you might have fucked Francine now? I mean, considering half of New York already has, um, I'll jump on that boat. That's half you of Maryland. Me, Francine? Francine, you remember me? We went down in the Bowery? Uh, I guess. Bobby? Well, I'm surprised if you don't, you filthy cum dumpster. Frankus! <laughs> Right. Apparently, he was lying. Oh, really? Well, well maybe. I don't, I don't think I've ever done a Bobby. I've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. A lot of Tyrones? <laughs> no, not really. Just regular a names. Few. Kevin's. And Charlemagne's. <laughs> I don't do the exotic ones from the projects. Amphernies? Any Amphernies? No, Amphernies. <laughs> Amphernie. <laughs> they all had regular names. Yeah? Yeah. Like Bob. Not Bob. Well, you said no. I don't remember. They're Steve. All, it, the relationships are so Steve? short. Yeah, I think a I, Frank? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, with a Frank? Yeah, maybe. Hold on, we got another guy that fucked Frank. Ted? <laughs> I fucked Francine! What? <laughs> we got another guy that might have fucked her. John? Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Hey, uh, I fucked a mulatto girl uh, I met at the Crow's Nest in uh, New Jersey. Did Francine ever hang out there? I am not a mulatto! I'm a oh, regular I'm black person. She's a tutu. Okay, well, you look light skinned, but uh, did you ever hang out a at the Crow's Nest? <laughs> or a uh, tutu? I don't <laughs> think so. I never went to New Jersey. Yeah, what are you? Oh, uh, okay. Well, then I might not have. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank what? you for the call. All right. What okay. tribe are you from? She's there, Tootsie. Thing? I am half Caribbean and half Tutsi from Rwanda. Tutsi. See, the Hutu are the ones that, mm -hmm. you know. You try to hack apart those. Yeah, because they're so, like, cute. You're, you're, you were too superior, I guess. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you're hysterical, <laughs> man. So you real so what happened? Like you started fucking and you were just like, I love this fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It was good. So where did you go to get guys? Um I like had school at friends, we'd meet at the parks. But if you were like at school and you're fucking a lot of guys. You, did you get the label of being like the school whore? Actually, wait a second. I don't know where I met most of these guys. Come to think about it. <laughs> oh my god! I, it's too long ago. Were like, they I, older? What was the oldest? What was the biggest age difference between you and a guy you were fucking? Uh, I don't know. Um, I think uh, one time I had sex with this crack dealer, and. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course you did. <laughs> he had money. <sighs> and he's a crack dealer. And he used to take us out to eat. He used to take me and my best friend out to eat. That isn't all that special. Yeah, how old How old were you? Um, I was 14 still. You were 14, and the crack dealer takes you out. And I think he was about 30 or something. 30. He lied. He said he was 18, and I thought he was, but yeah. I don't think so now. And then right when he came, he went, oh, I'm in my 30s. <laughs> No, actually, I saw him when he was strung out on crack, so I guess he started taking it. That was, like, maybe a year later. Oh. And uh, he didn't look 18 anymore. <laughs> no, all of a sudden, that aged the shit out of him, huh? Yeah, cracked at him bad. Yeah, unfortunately, it does that to some people. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Other people, I guess, yeah, it works wonders. <laughs> I, so I just came back. Was a guy, did he bang or no? Uh, a, yeah, a crack, a crack dealer. <laughs> when she was 14, he was in and his And you're worried 30s. about uh, who Jimmy was with in the past. Yeah. I, but well, you had sex with a crack we, dealer. We used condoms, so, so it's okay. So we could okay. use condoms? Yeah, Jimmy could get a condom. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll try it. He's been with trainees. Oh, don't believe first. everything I say on the air. It's a pack of condoms lies. are for faggots. Huh? They're the same thing. No, They're like condoms. Guys. No, it's not. Condoms suck. No, condoms work. Yeah, I guess so. I don't so. care if they I'm work. I'm living proof. I could be dead right now. Probably. Yeah, but condoms just don't feel good on a dick. They don't feel good. I've had sex with and without condoms. If I'm not talking same. about you. I'm so talking you. about me. If you slide in without a condom, oh, it's the best. All you're doing when you're fucking with a condom is going, I wish I had this fucking thing off. And then trying to get it off without her noticing so you can just <laughs> shove it back in. Thank God it feels the same to you girls because then you don't know when I fucking slip my thumb underneath the fucking rim and as I pumped back, snap that fucker right off. And then Boy. drove it back in in one steady fucking 
pounding. I never miss a beat. That condom goes flying like a rubber band. <laughs> right. And then I go, oh, shit, oh, fuck, what happened to the condom? Must have came off. Oh, well, too late. Welcome to the wonderful world of AIDS. That's right. And then while I'm coming, no. I yell, here goes the next 18 years. Blork. <laughs> blorka, blorka. Blorka, blorka, blorka. A blorka, blorka, blorka. Now, then I'll realize, like, right when I'm ready to come that I don't have a condom on and go, oh, that's why I had to shoot all over your ass. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, you know. I like it, too. I think it's it's like if 100% is really good, it's probably like 99.2% good with a condom. And that's pretty good. That's how it feels the same. You did no. the math, huh? As I'm far as feeling very good, good at math, it's friends. 0% with a condom. I excel in math. 100% with that one. Yeah? yeah? Did you? Yeah. Did you fuck your teacher? <laughs> Not that one. But how, how many teachers did you fuck? No, I only fucked with one professor. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Seven times nine. I don't. I don't. Forty nine. You said you, you didn't. Not only did you not excel in math. No, no, I excelled in math when I was in school. I <laughs> excel in math when I was in school. When I was in school. But that's uh, basic that's great. multiplication. Seventy two. <laughs> no, it's not seventy. Nine times seven. How do you not know that? Fifty one. Thirty six. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, Who cares? Out. Nobody's ever going to ask exactly. you out of their job. You know what? She Who makes cares? The, she makes the, the best points. thing. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We're I agree. Ready for Ron and All right. uh, two breaks to take? Oy. All right, Sorry, Francine, guys. We'll see you soon, all right? Oh, definitely. All right, Francine. Thank you. And remember. Hey, uh, <laughs> we can at least try. Can we play Slave Girl today? Sure. Oh, what did how, look, how do you play Slave Girl, though? Oh, I'm going to step back. I want to play Chicken George as I sit back and watch Why? Him. You don't want to play Slave Girl? How do you fucking play Slave that? Girl? I don't know. We got, like, paddles and stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> how about we, we... She stands up on here. Hold on. And we, we bid on her naked. Oh. Can we do oh, that? come on. Jesus For real Christ. money? No, I don't And then like you just anything. take the money and go no. home? You don't have to do anything? <laughs> I work. I actually make money. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. What do you do? What are you I, doing now? I manage buildings in Brooklyn. Wait, you do, You got a new job? No. Oh, look how she takes a deep breath of fake confidence in her yeah, job. I oh, I love her. Hey, Francine, wasn't your old job with the old guy that used to, yeah. like, look up your skirt and stuff? Hey. Yeah. So Would you, you like a job with a, with a young black guy that's the same <laughs> job? <laughs> do the same thing. <laughs> Less actual work. Hey, oh, we, they're bringing paddles in here. What the, the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, like you don't want to play slave girl. <laughs> what, what is? What's wrong Louis, with you? How is this no, the Louis, most casual Louis, thing in the world? Is asking a black girl she wants to play slave girl, he's girl he's and like bringing a, in a paddle. Like, hey, don't you want to do this? Dog people, like you were saying yeah, when we, he was mad about the dog. He's right. like, you can't slap you can't that juicy do. black ass with a paddle. How dare you give me that paddle? <laughs> <laughs> you of all the audacious, give me the fucking paddle. Did you watch your own, take down your pants. Did you watch your own TV show? What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, I just don't know. This is all very cryptic. Yeah, it oh, is. dude, we got yes. some. We got some great comedic uh, uh -huh. minds in the studio right now. All all right. I just came up with the concept, <laughs> slave girl. Now we we try to figure out what that means, and we do it. Oh, so there really isn't a slave girl. You just wow. you really did make that up. Yeah, yes, that's, that's fucking not. amazing. We've that's, never done slave girl. That's, that's the beauty awesome. of what we do. So that's now awesome. we try to figure out if there's something. That and then someone acceptable. brings in a paddle. You're spitballing. Well, now we got a paddle, yeah, exactly. so maybe oh, that can be worked into the slave girl right. routine. Oh, man. It's kind of hard to picture her as slave girl when she's got the little university oh, shirt on and, 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 and her tri earrings. And panties look yeah. like a little, you know, yeah. lifesaver. You should be wearing a gunny sack and all that. Here's a... Here's a Francine you know. can surprise you from and time a tan. to time. Hold on. Where'd you get a tan from, Francine? Uh, Florida. You have tan lines. Oh yeah. You're a black girl. You got tan lines. Black people tan, you guys. I know, no, but you got to no. be like Only little mocha. Blacks. Little mocha. Do you tan, Patrice? Not really. Look at Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> Just shut up and pull those panties off. Just roll them down. See, I don't need... This is how weird I am now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to... I don't want to fuck... Just to see new panties roll down from the top, yeah, no, no, to the to the ass. No, that's stocks, what. I, bam. Done. I remember the for when I was first time I jerked off to a girl. Excuse me, Francine, for the next thirty minutes. You, uh, oh, you haven't heard what she said. I, I, you haven't Jesus. heard what comes. Some out of her girl mouth. when I was 
11 or 12, some girl in my junior high school, like, lifted her shirt a little bit, and I saw, like, the hemline where her pants meet, and I, I, I thought about it later and, and fucking came in 10 <laughs> seconds. And then I grew up, I had to think about fucking and blowing and getting my ass eaten and <laughs> shit in the face and all that stuff. And now I'm so desensitized and I'm old, I'm 40, I'm back to the only thing that gets me off is a 12-year-old girl lifting, <laughs> lifting the shirt a little bit. Lifting the shirt just a little those, bit. Those fucking come all little over the place. Striped panties just now. I'm gonna fucking. I'm, I'm gonna go fuck my girlfriend at her job right after this really? show. Really? Just thinking about that. You're gonna come in like officer and a gentleman and just fuck her right in the, and all the, her up. All the secretaries would be cheering. You go get her. You get him. Way to go. Takes your fucking hey. coogie hat off your head. Puts it on her head. So are we giving up? Are we giving up on on slave girl? Oh. Uh, Francine, what do you suggest? She doesn't seem into it. The bit of slave she's... girl. What what are you willing to do? Can I hear what what I have to do as slave no, girl? No, we want you to help us here. He doesn't have it worked out. Oh really? No. Yeah, he what 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 do you think slave girl means? Here's what I think slave girl should. Wait, be. Uh, oh, okay. I, I just I just okay. have a quick idea. Let, we're spitballing here. I just want to hear uh, the word massa. Once. We run we run down to the pharmacy, <laughs> uh, right down there, right. Wayne Reed. Right. Eight. We grab right. a, yeah, a yeah. big uh, bag of cotton balls. Okay. We spread them out on the floor. She then, in her panties, has to bend over and pick up the cotton as we take the <laughs> wiffle ball bat and smack her ass and, and tell her to do it faster. But not enough to, like, leave welts or No, no, because it's, it's like, fun. it's soft, it's all in fun, and she's got to say, like, What's yes, Patrice? master. Here it is. <laughs> yes, Patrice. Oh, see, we Here got him. He's back, back with us. Good. All right, Slave Patrice. Slave girl, what is it? You are going to kill her black... Boy. I'm her father. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you got to uh, kill me. Right. Yeah. And she has to beg mm -hmm. Massa, whoever Massa is. All right. Louis C.K. You have to con <laughs> convince. Because he's a minority. Like hanging on his leg. How that'll convince work. Massa not to kill Dad. Well, where's the in, in like old world she, speak panties? She something. has to do everything she needs to do. Yeah, it's like, well, what, what? Please, I'll do anything, and I'll then, do anything. Do we get to really anything, kill you? She doesn't do it, right? <laughs> you get to. I'm, I'm in the. I'm, I'm shackled. <laughs> right. You're, you're shackled. I'm shackled. Think King Kong. And she's Jesus. Can you <laughs> let, let us stay? I just thought we were. <laughs> don't fucking fuck it up it. by being racist. I was this killing. Is oh, yeah, none of this it's is racist. racist. This is his. <laughs> I thought this we were history. History. It's not, it's not we're enough. We're white. We want you to be a fucking I gorilla. We a gorilla too? I thought we reached a point where we all get a pass. No, we you were doing. Shoot me no, times no. Times you're, we were doing. You're like pitching that you're. You're Jesus pitching that you're Christ. a shackled slave daddy. <laughs> he says King Kong, and you're offended. <laughs> we were doing something almost like a civil war reenactment. That's what I'm saying. That's man. fine. And yeah. come with it's history. Extra, extra racism. Right. You actually made that racist fucking scenario racist. It's not. It's radio. We got to paint pictures for everybody out there. Yeah. Damn, nigga, what the fuck? Yeah, come on. We're saying I already had myself white shackled white with my daughter, my innocent daughter, ready to fuck white guys. Life. We're saying it loose. in a way that the white listeners will palpably get the point of what you're saying. I, I like it's like in that thing. movie with uh, yeah. Yeah. Samuel Jackson when he tells his lawyer, tell them what the white people, what they need to hear. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We need them to hear King oh, Kong. Oh, she wrote up a, a new script and everything. My too, life right? is in your hands, Francie. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what do you, what do you want to do with Slave Girl? I don't know how to do You've Slave Girl. you said some horrific things on, on this uh, show. So. I like the idea that Slave Girl is like a college girl like her. Yeah. yeah if there would have been a Slave Girl, that <laughs> no. Master would have been like, I'm going to kill your pa. And she would have been like, oh, my God, really? Oh, that's <laughs> weird. I could, weird. like, pay you because I have a job. I'm so tired of cotton. It's just a stick of it. I... I I'm not a dad. Right. I'm not a dad. Okay, well, who no, are you? Okay. I am. I am her. Um, He's so hard. I'm her right lover. Now. He is. Oh, so hard. now you're a lover. And, and like in the thing is like she's fighting for my life, but she, the, the, she's using the sexuality to. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Are you a house nigger mm -hmm. or a field nigger? <laughs> 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 <It> field. <laughs> wow. I said Patrice's field too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I be house. Your house. <laughs> she's house and he's field. Right, and and here's how it is. She's she has to feed me. You That's have right. to, you, listen, you, you're you protecting me. That's how yeah, she brings center. food from the house out to the right, field. And you, and, you and you eat it all sweaty. Wait, Mass is fucking her. <laughs> <laughs> you eat it all sweaty. Patrice, Mass is Thanks. fucking her, but you two are in love. So yeah. you guys are fucking, and no. Mass is raping her, and you find out, and you go to kill Massa. 
And Massa turns around, and you know he's got better guns and shit than you, though. So he's gonna kill you, and then yeah. she's got to beg for your life. Yeah. And right. and you gotta watch her get fucked by Massa yeah. as you go like, Oh Lordy, Lordy, Lord, no, <laughs> oh my baby, no, no, oh, like, just like that, yeah. just like that. Yeah. That's how you gotta do it. I like that. Anyone out there have an idea for Slave Girl? <laughs> hey, oh, I'm sure our fucking. fucking <laughs> Imagine if there were still slaves, what your <laughs> listeners would do with their slaves. Oh, oh my god. Oh, you know what I do to my fucking slave today? Dude, you wouldn't fucking oh, guess dude. what I did last night to this fucking cunt. <laughs> And then, and then I she traded. got fucking mouthy. And, and then she got shitty, so I traded her to my friend for another one. <laughs> Dumbass. You didn't even know I fucking beat oh, the God, shit this, out of her. She ain't gonna be able to wash a dish for fucking weeks. Uh, slavery would have just gotten worse. Imagine reading, fucking man? 21st century slavery. <laughs> what are you reading over there? Just awful. What are you reading? I'm torn. <laughs> Patrice uh, caught my eye. I'm like, should I or should I? Go oh, ahead. man, I see you reading these cocksuckers. What are they telling you? Well, oh. Snap Man from Whack Bag might have wrote, shouldn't Patrice be a lot thinner for a real nigger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That is pretty fucking funny. What the fuck did you bring in? E-Rock. <laughs> right, got... E-Rock's got like an African fucking mask. Oh, we took and this. Lays. Oh, you gotta keep it sexy. We gotta, she got on strike. I know, I, I know, we I know. You're taking the sexy out of it. You don't take. See the the, the, the right, humili- She got on striped rainbow panties, man. Yeah, with, yeah. With, Come with, on, with Francine, you're up for stuff, marks, right? Man. Sure. Can we just like? Um, hmm. Can she read the news in her panties at least? What do you got on um, under <laughs> the, the really sweatshirt? Because I see spaghetti straps. Uh, it's a bra. I'm just asking. No, yeah, I'm, I'm just not telling. saying anything. It's a little a right girl. We got in with some kind of slave girl thing. <laughs> right, you you, gave, do me, the news you gave me a little head movement back and forth on that one. I'm, I'm just do some, telling. Why don't we do some news with Francine and maybe the slave girl thing will develop. Uh, E-Rock's uh, searching for more props. So. Jesus. Oh, God. He's got a fucking Ubangi mask That's so out funny. There. I really thought there was a whole slave girl thing. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't no, here. No, no. I just I love so that you just said, hey, let's play slave girl. You didn't have any idea what <laughs> no. that, that meant. That would mean show prep. Oh, yeah. No, but that's yeah. awesome. That's inspiring. We would actually have to have meetings and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, yeah. That. yeah. fuck that. Why yeah. not work things out on the air? <laughs> yeah. Right. That's yeah. the beauty of this <laughs> satellite radio. It's great. Oh, over at the other joint, we're well prepared, though, oh, I'll sure. tell you. Our listeners like to call it phoning it in. Almost literally. All right. You got some news for us? Uh, yes, I do. Ah. This is just as good as playing Slave Girl, by the way. Because she reads Barely just please. as bad. Mm-hmm. Well, please. see, uh, oh, look. She she those eyes. Big oh, she eyes. can't stand black people. See, that's the thing. Why don't so, you like black people, Francine? She don't like black people. Yeah, but that makes you hard when she, she looks at you like that. Black guys don't like me. Are you, I'm, are you, I'm, I'm already coming. I got pre-cum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just looking at you in a He's delicious drizzling. little panties. You're too white-itized. You've been, like... And she's a little too thin. White. She's a little too thin too. Are for you? The black no man. ass, yeah. right? Exactly. No ass for the little black baby man. Little titties. She's like built like a like a stripper and shit. But uh, you know, I I date girls with big old asses, big old titties. So this is like fun to you know. Big fun old to look ones. At. So old black ass guys too. don't like uh, oh, at all. Oh, oh, well, well, turn sideways. <laughs> turn sideways for a minute. We got another prop for slave girl. Do I turn around? See that? See there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. What's like? What would a black guy? Why because would a black guy not, look at that and go what? like, bah, it, you, that's bullshit. You can grab her whole, both ass cheeks with your hand by just like it's a, it's just it's not enough fucking meat. But it's it's delicious. How to black me. guys like the girls you see on fucking Maury saying that yes it is your baby, no it's not your baby, that that, that like those big fat, fat women. Yep. How they enjoy that is beyond me. It's beyond they don't, me. They don't enjoy that. We they enjoy gotta it. every time you fucking see uh, one of those shows. It's true. Well, it's not like these... the guys on that show have their pick, to, pick of the to, litter. Go to, <laughs> yeah. like, go to like, round I don't like round. Uh, girls like Pamela Anderson. Go to roundandbrown.com. <laughs> round <laughs> round That's what they oh, got to choose from. Oh. Round and Their brown. choices are that fat chick and, and the other fat chick. <laughs> Sorry. You look delicious. Why would right, you say like you don't like it? Let's see if she's got some news for us. Read the first story. If we're bored, we're going to go right back to Slave Girl. Oh. You shave, Wednesday? Yeah. Damn, round and brown is all right in my book. That's what I'm talking about. Holy (laughs) shit. 
shit. Oh, oh, they greased that shit up. Look at the white guys. The white guys fucking that shit. What the fuck, Patrice? Yeah, we have Moody. Look at that shit. Like balloons. What are them white asses awesome. doing on there? Yeah, what's up with the white asses? That's, she ain't white. She's black. She's just yellow. She's, she's mixed. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's just more white than black. I mean, come Let's on. scroll down a little more there. Uh, There's a uh, brown, right, that's brown. brown. They grease them up. And what is it? <laughs> what is it? Just like white guys fucking black chicks? Yeah, it's just... It's, uh, you got to oh. go with the view sample video. Always uh, All right. worth a chuckle. Always take a little look. I'm sure that'll... So. Put a nice virus on the fucking computer. <laughs> 80,000 pop-ups when you go to CNN.com. Yeah, Mars is going to have his work cut out for him after we leave this joint today. It's infected. Now, now this is going. This is uh, this, this is pretty good. I got a right. sexual content warning. <laughs> I oh, thought brown, no. brown was uh, something else. Like there she is. Uh, uh, dude, wasn't right. she on The Flavor of Love? Probably. She kind of looks like that chick. Look at that. Just delicious. Mm. She, she don't have, like, you got, what, you got an A cup or something? Little baby things? Yes, I have small boobs. Oh, look oh at that you. means you try harder. It's okay. Look at that. You got Ooh, nipples looking around it. Like baby fingers. Well, there she goes. She's greasing up her ass. It's greasing all about up greasing up the asses on Round and Brown. Oh, yeah, man. You got greasy, wobbly booties, man. Come on, man. Greasy, wobbly booties. <laughs> now she's uh, <laughs> <Look phenomenal. laughs> She's got Hershey <laughs> kisses for nipples. Hershey's kid, those look like fucking. And then white Peppa Pig, dude. Here's Slave. Here's those Slave are Girl. Fucking right here. Moon all right, pies. Yeah, that's what we want to do for Slave Girl, right? Yup, for it. Holy shit. We got our idea for Slave Girl. Getting some mileage out of her. Wow. She looks very enthusiastic. Uh, she ain't even feeling that. Oh, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are we actually <laughs> just watching the porno pregnant? now? Are you going to validate my parking? <laughs> oh, ah, and then the money oh, shot the on the ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, little cum on her ass. Oh, Round and brown. Round and brown. Round and brown. <laughs> Nothing looks sadder and more pathetic than white guys come on a black girl's ass. <laughs> it just looks sad sitting there. Just dribbled out. Like it's all I could do. I'm sorry. Why? What, what did, who came up with the domino thing? Hmm. Remember? That's what it looks like when you, oh, oh. you finish on a black girl's back. <laughs> yeah, dom- domino. <laughs> Make her look like a domino. I'm I know A couple little dribbles. Who was it? Oh, instant feedback. Yeah, gets the credit for that. All like right, the news with Francine. What do you or got, Francine? Shit, when you have high hepatitis, your shit looks like dominoes. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, she's getting mad at you. Mm. She just gave you the eye. Like, shut up. It's my turn. Oh, no, I'm no, sorry. no, no. I didn't. No, I saw it. It's okay. Look at her eyes. Got all big with the white man. Got mad. She yeah. said, no, yeah. Lordy, no. 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 Don't send me to the field. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stay in the house. I do anything to read the All news. All right, Missy, get me a mint julep, <laughs> and you can stay in the house. Just don't read. <laughs> <laughs> don't let my daughter teach you how to read. She got ideas. <laughs> I think he got fake hair. It, yes, it is fake. I'm trying to figure out where it's fake hair. Oh, you have a weave? hair. There's a, there's a weave. It's not a there. weave though. No. It, no, it's not a weave. It's braided in. Looks Isn't nice. that what a weave is? Thank you. Yeah, weave is different. Weave is is mm-hmm. it's a hairstyle and they and they and they glue it on the hair. Yeah, she yeah. braid that, those are braids. braids. Fake you. hair and her real hair well, braids. braids. Looks very different good. than. All right, let's do the news. Yeah. See how black people know that white guys don't really know that, baby. See. see yeah, well, knowing that doesn't do you. Anything. Boy, she just looks at you with nothing. Nothing. It, I her, like you, Patrice. Because she knows. As she you roll knows, your eyes. She knows the evil in my heart. <laughs> yeah. She can control white guys. She knows what's gonna <laughs> happen. I'm gonna yank them braids right out. Oh, that's one by yeah, because we would we wouldn't know. We were like, okay, how does this work? Like we would be very tentative <laughs> with her. Yeah, you would. Like, you know just what tell it is, me though? how do I fuck up a black chick? I'm not sure how to do this. Uh, I'm going to look to you for guidance. <laughs> you could uh, it's because she... direct me to the where do you keep the vagina? I'm not sure. <laughs> black women keep these things. By the way, she's much safer in here than she's out there. Accessible yeah, she's accessible as guys. a black woman to the white guys. At the yeah. It's not like at you're the, like yeah. I would be scared. To have sex with a real black woman, mm. you're like a white black woman. You're you got you got everything you need to be fucking a black woman, but you're like white. Yeah, she's like the starter kit. Yeah, you're you know, a you... starter kit for white guys if they, they would want to go uh, jungle fever. They they could have sex with you right. and look and say, hey, I'm fucking a black hey, girl. That but that wasn't it's much like, different than what I'm used to. It's a little... like level one. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then you're ready for like the serious black fucking. I'm gonna yeah. suck your dick. You're not gonna <laughs> start with that. You best fuck my ass. You best fuck this ass. Fuck that. I don't even feel that dick, you little faggot. <laughs> oh, great. What the? Fu- you don't want to step up, take it down, and go. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. You think Man, you're satisfying me with that? Come up into me with that bullshit. Yeah. You do not <laughs> want that. First fucking time out. Where's your dick? She's, you know, she's Francis that, is nice. She, no, that's gotta, what. That's you what. Gotta get up to that yeah, bitch. you got to work your no, way up as a white that's guy. What, like black women that work at the DMV. That kind of fucking right. intimidating. You take your dick out, and she's like, "Where's your dick? Yeah, I don't see a dick. <laughs> I mean, take your dick out. <laughs> don't just stand there. Come take in. it out. Hold it is. on, motherfucker. Oh, don't put that shit back in. Come here, <laughs> Cheryl. Yeah, come on, look at this. Chloe, come here. Is this a dick to you? Ain't even a dick. He got his underwear down and still he ain't got a dick. <laughs> oh, uh, this is my penis. I thought it was fine. Oh, Man, that ain't a dick. Yeah. Shit. That's the most intimidating thing a guy can fucking be subject Man, to. Man, give me a thousand dollars. White guy. Yeah. Just for having to look at that shit. Oh, fuck out of here. She asked for a thousand dollars. <laughs> give me some money for having to look at this. Just because your, your dick is so small. You owe me a thousand dollars. Where's my motherfucking money? <laughs> That's what would happen. She won a thousand dollars. That's it. <laughs> Uh, that's all. When I stand in line at the DMV and look at those women, that's all. I just picture how little regard they would give me. They press their face against the window. Yeah. Yeah. Just laugh. On, Step back, some nigga. Oh, oh, oh laughing all damn. muffled by the glass. <laughs> what you resting oh, for? Oh, child, here's your license for the new. You just take it. You don't you have to pay. It. You no. need to drive somewhere and go get yeah. yourself a bigger dick. <laughs> go drive and buy damn. yourself a dick. I'll pay for the rest of your registration, God, nigga. Damn. <laughs> Let's, we'll try the news again, Francine. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Go ahead, jump mm, in there. I'm sorry, delicious. It's okay, Patrice. Mm. Um, America continues to be outraged by Brits who played softball with the Iranian leader Hamid Ahmadinejad to, re- <laughs> to release their 15 Royal Navy officers who are trespassing in Iranian waters. Now, uh, the war on terror has been going on for about six years. So today, the editorial. I'm the teletype <laughs> in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Very important we're doing, news. We're doing okay. nice. Okay. We're doing nice around here. She gives you the uh, the highlights, the headlines, and then she kind of editorializes. Her a little yeah, bit, the, yeah, that's that's the price of admission, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Today, I'm going to tell President Bush and Tony Blair how to win the war on terror. <laughs> oh shit! Wow, wow, finally. All right. You take a giant bomb and strap it to the Arabian Peninsula and most of North strap Africa. Mm, just strap and it then on. just let it rip. There are going to be some casualties and some innocent lives lost, Might be but helpful. the war on terror will be won. Mm. Ah, so you're saying just strap a bomb to the Arabian Peninsula, Peninsula. and most of what? North Africa? North Africa, and just blow it up. Yep. And People, then it'll be everything. Over. I agree, baby. There's no more brilliant. war on terror. Thank you. All right. Brilliant. I've been after you. Submit Prince that. Thank you. And uh, nobody will mind. Nobody, there'll be no repercussions. People will just go. <laughs> people will just go, well, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they went ahead and did that today. Did all they right. finally strap a bomb on? No. Oh, oh, that, that, that was interesting. <laughs> anyway, who's on American Idol? They'll just move life and move on. Yeah. Nobody else. All right. What do we got in this back? Making the run for the White House under Republican ticket is former Mayor of New York Rudy Giuliani. David Salstenstall of the Daily News quotes Giuliani on his ideals on abortions. He says, ultimately, it's an individual right of the woman. Uh, She should have the choice. Uh, Rudy, there are three fundamental Republican core rules. Number one... No abortions. Number two, no faggots. And three, higher taxes for the poor and the ultimate annihilation of blacks and Jews. So, if you want to win, <laughs> you should either run as an independent mm-hmm. or drop out. Wow. Was that wow. was that agenda taken right from Giuliani's like <laughs> yes. website? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank no, you. No she's faggots. No faggots, yeah. Mm. She's just echoing my sentiments. Like, she's oh. amazing. She she's minds. fucking amazing. 
<coughs> and the ultimate humiliation of the blacks and Jews was that what? And heli, and heli, annihilation, and annihilation, oh, annihilation, no, annihilation. No, you have to snort the blacks and juice. And <laughs> inhalation, <laughs> inhalation, inhalation, inhalation. And speaking of those who should have considered an abortion, is mm. Beverly Boniello, the woman who in 1997 gave birth to 11 set of sustuplets in history. Beverly and her husband, Rocco, who gave birth to six kids, or as I like to call them, 18-year leeches, are celebrating the sex couplet's 10th birthday this week. So kudos and stretch marks to you, Beverly. Hey. Wow, much more subdued that was, that delivery. Was a, that was like a light, uh, a yeah. human interest piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That was> like, <laughs> she seems yeah, kind of now the lighter side. She of seems sad today. Yeah. You're sad, aren't you? No, I'm not. Nervous? No. Oh, she's taking news. Intimidated seriously. on drugs? <laughs> drugs? Yeah. I can't do drugs. No. Why? Because I. Uh, it confuses her with the other drugs you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a the bad one that reaction. Pre- prescribed. What, what kind of drugs have you tried and had bad reaction with? Pencil. No, I did marijuana, and I Ooh. I went crazy. Little Mary Jane, reefer madness. That's always that's just the first time you go nuts. Yeah. No. You went crazy. Yeah, what what kind of happened? Crazy. <laughs> with uh, you. So let's see. The second time I did marijuana, I didn't realize it, but I went on a I think it's called bipolar disorder or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had one of those. It was bad. And what was it? What happened? Try to describe it. Well, it started off with a lot of sex with the boyfriend. Oh, mm. please tell me someone has fucking marijuana out there. <laughs> <laughs> Who's carrying? <laughs> Just pump it into the vents of the studio <laughs> here. Every time I smoked pot, I blew eight guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that anymore. By the ninth guy, I felt like I might no. have a problem here. No. What else? But so you had sex with your boyfriend. And I didn't just have sex with him. I sucked his dick, like, a lot. Oh, wow. Like, and you never do that, right? Not really. It was just crazy. Wait, when you say you sucked it a lot, you mean, like... <laughs> like, I sucked it so hard, like, I popped my jaw or Wow. Because like it, it sounds like wow. you, mean you sucked it all, like, he's just walking around the house and you're just attached to his dick. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I'm going to take, take Francie in the hall and just knock on doors. You got me, nigga? Because she's sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> There's not so a lot of wow. weed hoes. He sucks his dick a lot. Weed oh, hoe is pretty. That's pretty rare. Did he finish? This girl will do All anything for a hit All of the time. Pot. Yeah. And what happened? What'd you do with aspirin it? Aspirin. <laughs> what? What'd you do with the stuff? Did you spit it out or swallow it or what? Uh, well, it depends if he came in my mouth or my ass. Well, yeah, I obviously you, you can't <laughs> swallow it yeah. from your ass. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying, you said you sucked his dick a lot. I'm just saying, did you swallow it? Yes, I saw Oh, you did. Okay, I'm just wondering. Cause that's did he ever get she, tired of you sucking crazy. his dick? Did he ever go, she could you please stop stuff. sucking my dick? No. Yeah. Just, like, she, yeah. she does white, like, stuff that, like, usually it's hard to come in a black girl's mouth. It's hard to do any of that special shit. Because she won't shut up. If you up, don't train, if you don't <laughs> Anyway, so then I went to shut up. Let me come in it. <laughs> just fucking... Oh, you no, ain't. I just want to tell you about And then that bitch was talking. Mm. And, I'm trying to come in your mouth. You ain't putting <laughs> that in here. Uh-uh. There's a lot of that. You got you to gotta fight hard to get a dude like, that's just out of the question. So she does all of that. Swallows, mm. takes it in the booty, everything, right? No, but right? that was because I was... I you was, were high on yeah, the pot. Yeah, I was like going crazy. So, so, so regular yeah. now, what's your, what's your thing sexually now that you're not You on plus drugs? pot equals several loads in the mouth. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you went like crazy like that, fucking in the ass... Everything. Everything. Wow. <laughs> no condoms. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's smart. So uh, th- is that all the craziness, or what else happened that was crazy? Um, then I came out to New York City, and uh, I don't know. I think it was some kind of mania thing, but I was roaming the streets in New York. Just I'd, cum dripping had, all over. Her. No. Wait a minute, so the blowing <laughs> your boyfriend a million shoes. times was the depression part then. Maybe. <laughs> like the down? Maybe that oh, was the down. So she's just wandering the streets of New York. the ass constantly. Without shoes? Yeah, I ran away from home. Mm. Uh, How I old were you? 21. Right. Hmm. So you just left your apartment. What do you mean you ran away from home? No, you I was at home with your parents? <laughs> I was living with my mom, yeah. It was the summertime. <laughs> left my apartment oh, slash huh? ran Holy away now. from home. I'm 27. Okay. Jesus. So 21, you're, you're wandering the streets of New York. What I'm happened? partying with, like, strange people. Mm. Uh-oh. I woke up. I was this is after uh-oh. one joint. 
This is one joint. <laughs> Could have had the angel <laughs> She dust blames on her it. entire it 20s like on one joint. joint. Paraclot. I smoked a joint, and then I went and got this job and <laughs> made these friends with these people. <laughs> No, so it fucked uh, up your mind. The reaction fucked your the mind. The reaction, really. It, when I woke up, like, yeah. in the hospital with an IV drip, like... Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I was like, okay, I, maybe I shouldn't do weed anymore, because... Yeah, I took that... Somebody, IV somebody drip. put something in that weed. You sure you weren't uh, drinking also? I was drinking, too. Oh, okay. Maybe you were, like, OD'd on alcohol or something. No, it wasn't that much. No? Unless they put something in my drink. Mm, maybe slipped your Mickey. No Mickey Finn. So now, no no dick sucking, no ass fucking, nothing? Well. Yeah, she'll take it in the ass. I haven't done it in a while. But I do. You haven't had sex in a while? It's been about a month. <coughs> really? <laughs> Two months, I think, actually. You ever do a girl? Yes, I have. You like yeah, it? There's a little delay there. Yeah, you knew it. They always have to delay. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, sure. No, I didn't really like it. It's yeah. just for show, the delay. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to see that movie with Tarantino. Oh, I know. Right. Yeah. Where are you going to see it? I think it's 42nd Street somewhere. By yourself? No. No. Come on. She has She's just going to walk up one, please. That's right. <laughs> She's Look fucking crazy her. enough, too. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. shit. <laughs> she no was going to let cash. her go by yeah, herself. She sucked the usher's dick. Um, <laughs> just you got in. some weed? I'll suck your dick. Let me watch Grindhouse, nigga. <laughs> 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 we got to get her high and just have her do a show for 202. What? And she'll get, she'll get better you know at 34. The, the thing is, like, the the only way I can, like, really orgasm really good is by smoking weed. So uh, I have been really? thinking about it. You're like a commercial for pot. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. One last story. Your best one. Um. Okay. I'll do celebrity news. Ah. Celebrity news. Yep. Uh, People Magazine reports that San Antonio Spurs basketball star Tony Parker, who's engaged to Desperate Housewives star Eva Longoria, is releasing a rap album in French. Question, Tony. What are you talking about in this album? Eating croissants while painting with a beret in the streets of Paris? You're not a rapper. Just True. play your stupid basketball and keep fucking your stupid fiance. Totally. Wow. Totally. Like uh, totally. exactly how I felt about that situation, too. Yeah, me too. Totally, man. Me and you, we see eye to eye. Clap. Oh, it's amazing. Like, yeah. Time to fucking say it like it needs to be said. Like, psychic. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. Bravo. <laughs> Is the computer plugged <laughs> in? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, well, can we play Slave Girl now? <laughs> if we must. You want to get, you wanna get uh, a paddle to the butt? I'll That's take it. a paddle t- for the team. And, and say, like, mm. just anything with the word Massa in it would, would work for everybody, right? I yeah. still no, I think she ma- should keep ma- the Massa, voice. Massa, don't. Massa, please don't. Yeah, <laughs> but she should say it like she says it now. Because the, the, the fantasy to me is the 21st century slave. Yeah, master... Massa, I do like, not. You just <laughs> work the word Massa in there, like either don't or whatever. Whatever you think might turn on. Do you on mind these asking creeps. her nicely? Could she do it just with the little pink, uh, little striped uh, panties? <laughs> yeah, just, that's all right. Just showing. We right? won't. We won't do a video of that. Yeah, no video. Just but just a little. Just so I can see the little stretch marks just for Patrice. I, I, it'll look, just get me through the day. Look at him. Do he's, something for he's, your he's people. He's been sad all day. <laughs> You you did cheer me up. Your your panties cheer me up. Oh, but he's been sad all day. He really? Said, yeah, You've been just sad? Li- just mm-hmm. like that's another, that's another song on your record, Patrice. Well, I thought you just got married. <laughs> your panties cheered me you up. You should be happy. <laughs> you got married? This is the record he has of ballads where he's wearing a suede Patrice jacket. Patrice got married, everyone. Her panties <laughs> cheered me up. Yeah. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I hate that bitch. I, Can you? <laughs> all right. Here's the, well, here's the deal. Uh, we can't have E-Rock spank you. Last time he did that, he left welts. Yeah. I, who, who, I heard. <laughs> it, it, no joke. I mean, the pictures are on the internet. It was brutal. And it was just one paddle, right? Or one slap? Can Fan do it? He's, he's gentle. Fan has a thing. Who wants, to, who wants to play Slave Girl with Francine? Can't have a listener do it, unfortunately. Danny, Danny. Danny! Do Don't abuse it, Danny. Danny's just not, be nice. like, white enough. <laughs> 
I was hoping someone like, you know, Travis, like as white as Eastside Dave or something. I know, but he's not here. Right I now. know, but, you know, someone equally as white. Don't get nobody hates women because they're going to come in and Man. hit her with the, other, the, the, the sharp part. The, <laughs> yeah. Not the paddle part, the fucking. <laughs> I like to see someone wind up and just crack her across the head. <laughs> like it's a sword. Can we get this video up on, like, YouTube and stuff? No. You, you screaming massa as you getting spanked? No. Oh, yeah, they won't pull that off in a second. <laughs> Will they? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this guy oh, is, this is not the called, fantasy. Uh, this guy does not look porn, white. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, but he's Dude, got a shirt with a paddle on it. Here. The guy knows his yeah, paddling. Yeah, I know. It's uh, Sean of the Dead Cricket Bat yeah, shirt. All right, let's get this going, All dude. Right. Yeah, we got to go home. And Louis C.K. is going to get us to noon. All right. But can you just yeah, like, I mean, a, what the fuck, Francine? If you're gonna play slave girl, you gotta play slave girl. There okay, go. we're gonna play slave girl. Oh, get that wedgie out! Oh God, you gotta give uh, Patrice a little something. Get that little that wedgie is. out! Wait a minute. Bend can over we, the, 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 the 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 little panties, man. No, bend over the. Nah, it can't be that way. It's got to be sideways. So get the chair. The panties too. Have her bend Francine. over the chair. That way yes. you get a front kind of side panties. view. Little, the chair's got wheels, so can you, you hit go. her hard enough that it yeah. propels her? <laughs> <laughs> Launches her head through the wall. All right, now how many paddles do I have Not to take? Not a lot, and don't hurt her. Just <laughs> so as with, let me just, just make the jiggling then, happen. Just oh Jesus, and a little baggy too. Because <laughs> they don't fit. Oh, there you go. There you go. Pull them up. So All right, wait. Before baby. this, you have to say something with Massa in it before this starts. Like, please, please don't, don't, please do don't hit me, Massa. Do. Please, Massa don't. please don't hit me, Massa. Massa, man. Yeah, Massa. Don't, don't work the T. The T yeah. ruins it. Yeah. Please don't wow, Massa's Massa. good, yeah. You gotta Massa? Pull your panties yeah. up a little, too. Oh, they baggy. There you go, pumpkin. Do you know how to act? Oh, like, get into the role. There you go. Okay. That's it. That one I'll more. One more. That, one yeah. more. Wait, one more pull. It's 1850. One more Get into pull. the roll. One more pull. There it is. In the middle. It's In the middle. 1850. <laughs> it's a, there you it's go. towards there the you waning go. days of slavery. Yes. This is the last mass is still taking advantage. <laughs> <laughs> the last dude. She's like <laughs> the last the douchebag. Fucking, right. Yes. <laughs> the Yankee Army's <laughs> fucking down the road, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna make me do this again. He's like, "Come on, give me a break." Right. I got you know 15 I'm minutes fucked. left. I'm totally fucked. You know up. they're gonna burn my house down. <laughs> Come on. All right. All right. Uh, line. Spank me, massa. Oh, she wants it. Oh, ah. Wow. Spank me harder, massa. This stinks. <laughs> you gotta no, say it with wait, some emotion. Don't hit, don't hit me, man. No, master. You don't no. want it. You don't. She's you gotta, don't want kind it. Of girl, you gotta explain no, it to man. her. Get a little emotion. No, go. Master. Oh, please. Yeah, you. You totally don't know about slavery. Yeah, See, no, you, are, you didn't like please. this. No, master. Please don't hit me. No, uh, master. No, got, master. Please don't hit no, me. No, there's gotta be a panic in your voice. Uh, Louis C.K. is a big. He's a big wig in the entertainment business. You never know. You never know. I could put you in a movie. I made Pootie he wrote, he wrote. Yeah. He, he wrote with Chris Rock. He's yeah. got a watch proving it. Say like, uh, just say, oh no, mass, like like, no oh, master, please, no master, please don't hurt me. No master, please don't hurt me. Not bad. <laughs> if it hurts, oh, it fucking hurts. <laughs> <laughs> She's pissed at him. He's the most sheepish. Like, the worst acting is him. That's supposed yeah. to be a slave master, and he's, like, all sheepish and giggling as he hits like her in the ass. Him. No like authority. He's supposed to be standing there in an ascot. Right. Fucking. Well, it's like you're gently pushing her through the Underground Railroad. <laughs> you're fucking. What are you doing? Okay. All right. Let's like, go again. Like, we want to hear some fear. You're, you're scared. This is about to go down. Uh. Oh. Oh, please, yeah. Master. Oh, please, Master. Don't spank me. Oh, don't burn the house down. <laughs> what? Uh, why, why would why would the Master <laughs> burn his own plantation out? Let <laughs> 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 know what you motherfuckers used to do to us. <laughs> yeah, but no. I used to burn a house. I'm going to burn the my part, house down. <laughs> the worst part is that this is what it was probably like back then. <laughs> The dude was saying, they're going, come on, could you fucking put some thought into this? And the black girl slave who's bored, whose ass is so callous from spanking, she doesn't feel shit. She's like, no, Massa, please. Oh, come on, you used to fucking cry. I don't care anymore, honestly. Fuck it. I get a black slave girl that would cry. We got another take. All right, here we go. Let's I like the again. emotion you had so and everything. Far, so good. Just uh, some more scenarios. Do we that need don't anything include from Danny? Burning the house no, down. No, no, that's good. No, nah, Danny can keep his mouth shut. Uh, yeah, yeah, because that's where we are. No <laughs> lines. Yeah. There's only one thing. There's <laughs> only one thing he could say, and that would really put it over the top. All right.
Oh, I've been bad, master. <laughs> <laughs> no, a more emotion, she's, like you're on the verge of tears. She, she's she's delving from white girl yeah. to yeah. black slave. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, right. I've been uh, so bad, man. All right, you know what? What am I supposed to be again? Am I supposed to be scared? This yeah, yeah. You're supposed to be big identity crisis. Right, let's give her scared? motivation. And you're scared. Get. You did something wrong. Maybe think what that might have been and said, I, I yeah. know I've been uh, bad. I know I shouldn't have whatever. That type of thing. Begging for you a broke, mercy. You broke a fucking crystal glass. <laughs> right. Okay. And the guy, fucking big white guy with a beard came in and sees the shattered glass and looks at you. Wow, you've broken my porcelain. <laughs> this was oh, fixed. I didn't mean to, man. There we go. There we go. I didn't mean to. Please don't hit me all that shit. Please yeah. don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it again. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Say, <laughs> young pussy, where'd you learn how I'll to talk do, like that? I'll do anything, master. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Daddy, can you hit the right cheek, please? <laughs> He's fucking killing me. Oh, fucking hold inconsiderate on. slave owning right, motherfucker. Hold on, we're almost there. All right. All right. I like it. She's starting to get into the role now. <laughs> okay. Do it with me, Anthony. I'm feeling it when you do it. Oh, I'm sure. All right. <laughs> but I think breaking a glass is kind of boring. All right, what do you, what do you think? Okay. Uh, well, she know, left like the barn door open and the learned, horses got loose. Shoot. Maybe she got caught uh, having sex with an animal. I don't know. No, yeah. it's <laughs> dark. Uh, what do you think, Louie? She was blowing uh, oh, <laughs> the neighbor. Patrice. Yeah, no. She was blowing Patrice. Patrice. Okay, here's the thing. All right, Patrice is what? Patrice is, is, is a field Prince fellow. Field Negro. <laughs> fellow. A field fellow. Okay. A fellow of the field. Field, field gentleman. Person. Field person. Ooh, and he was working. He was cutting uh, fucking cane, cane or whatever near the house. Try, uh, and, 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 and he was she, killing the poisonous frogs, too. Yeah. And she was standing on the back porch watching him. And he walked up to get a glass of water. So he was sweating, drinking the glass of water. Uh-huh. Too, too, in, too involved. Yeah. She was right. sucking a. Fi- she I'm a field hand. Uh huh. She she's house right. Yeah. She was she was sucking. She got caught sucking my dick oh, in the house. house. I was gonna. Oh, fuck. I was getting there. In the house. In the house. All right, so you're dead. Massa caught me. <laughs> you're fucking I strung up out back. And she is trying to live. <laughs> That's right. All right. Yeah. You are dead on the floor. So now at her feet. And now as you're pleading, you got to kind of like. Uh, I'm pleading for my life. And yeah. say, I know I did what Patrice said, but yeah, mercy, blah blah blah. Started out with a. I think you kind of know that. Because you guys spit the cum out of your mouth. <laughs> I think you kind of know that if you take this yeah, beating, cool. Mass is gonna jack off on your ass and <laughs> go to sleep. So this part of you that's optimistic because you've been down this road. This isn't the first field nigger that you've blown and gotten killed. Uh, it happens about twice monthly. Split fuck from North Carolina. He's got an idea. Uh, let's say she got caught reading the news. Yes. <laughs> well, they wouldn't hey. look kindly on that. No, no. No. All no. right, let's go. Uh, here all go. Right. Scene. Now, although scene. if they heard her reading the news, they'd be oh, like, please. all right, not much of a threat. Wait, wait, go ahead. Start me off, Anthony. Oh. Wow, what is this? <laughs> oh, oh, let, me, let me get the scene done. Oh, I'm home from town, and wow, wow, what is this I see here? Are you blowing the field, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> down goes Patrice. <laughs> there goes Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> what? The? Oh no, master, I didn't mean to blow the field, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, man. Right, we're on to something now. This is crazy. <laughs> <something. laughs> we're on to something now. All right. All right, let's try to get to the next line. All right, hold on. Scene again. You, you start with that, friend. Scene. Oh, fuck. Start with that and go from there. And then, and then the bleeding starts. Ready? Go. Oh, no, Master. I didn't mean to blow the field, nigga. Well, I walked in here and caught you blowing the field, nigga. Now you're gonna have to pay. No, man, I, I was just so horny. <laughs> <laughs> he got me worked up in a furry. Now you take this, you young. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. See, you just have to hit her harder. That's all this takes. How I... dare you bring that boy into my house? Ah! <laughs> I'll you apologize to Massa. I apologize, Matt. Ah! <laughs> oh my God! Holy shit! 
<laughs> oh my god. Prom- it won't happen again. Yeah, yeah you got to promise that that. Yeah. That you won't do what? I I will I will never suck a field nigga's penis ever. <laughs> penis. Ah, ah. Don't you be using those educated words, <laughs> you little missy. She's getting all polite on the last word. Now one more spanking and then get me a mint julep. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh. That was hard. Oh. That was fucking vicious. I, I apologize for that one. <laughs> Even I know that was a little harsh. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't even move a muscle. Over I know that's the thing. Is she, <laughs> she just took it yeah, like a soldier. She's still she bent over okay. with her pants she down. She fucking took the pain. It's deep in her DNA. Like platoon. <laughs> no, like platoon. No, <laughs> take the pain. She took no, the she pain. took the pain like Denzel and with the one tear. <laughs> she didn't even uncross her legs. She didn't get up. No. There. She just no. fucking bit down. No, and that was took good. It. Oh, thank you. Bravo. Uh, wow. That was. Uh, and scene. Wow, slave girl really took Very good. Slave girl oh, works. Like slave girl. Good, man. Does your hiney hurt? Feels good. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Uh, if any of the girls out there want to play slave, slave girl. girl in the near future, <laughs> please girl contact the Open We don't care show. if you're fucking Scandinavian. <laughs> slave girl contest. <laughs> we got makeup. We don't care how white you are. <laughs> Francine has set the bar pretty high. Though. Yeah, yeah really absolutely. I didn't Great mean job, to Francine. blow this. Oh thing. my God! She improv that line. It was perfect. Uh, I, and, and you know, you built through the whole thing. It started out. You really were just kind of uh, we're going through the motions of the line. You got into character. You pulled it off. It sounded great. Thank you. Fantastic. I love all the saving. The, you should. I love you saving. Get up there the... like Halle Berry and fucking cry your eyes I'll out. I'll never suck a field nigger's <laughs> penis. <laughs> my mom might be listening. You I don't want to say dick. It's offensive. <laughs> By the way, Anthony uh, put it over the top. Thank Very you. good. Anthony. Excellent. Yeah, she uh, needed to. Uh, she needed Anthony. I had to help out as the uh, slave master. That was an excellent foghorn, leghorn slave <laughs> yeah, master. Of course it was. Very good. Wow. Wow. I say, I say, I say, I, I keep say. pitching, but you keep missing, girl. I say. <laughs> Let's go to Jim the Trucker. Girl's about to show up as a sack of wet mice. Uh, Francine's in studio. Hi, Francine. Hey, you guys. I see you're sitting on Jimmy's lap there. Absolutely. You mm. like Jimmy? Mm. Yes, I do. Yeah. Love him. Who doesn't like Jimmy? And you gave uh, Jimmy a card? It's a thank you card because he gave me a job recommendation. A job recommendation. Really? Yeah, what's that? Where are you dancing? It was for us. <laughs> it was uh it was in a planned parenthood. Actually. <laughs> Hanger girl. Yeah. No, it was um it was I gave her a job recommendation. It was some TV I didn't even know what it was, but the guy called me and, and he asked me for, you know, what Francie so I left him a message. And I guess she got the job. So um Doing what? TV production. Really? Really? Yes, there's lots of buttons to push on the machines. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> Lots of buttons to push. Yes. How, how did you get the job? Are you qualified? I smiled a lot and I wore really tight clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you got it. He's so honest. I love it. <laughs> and so because of that, uh, you uh, gave Jimmy a card. Do we have the uh, Francine story? It's so worth playing, man. The, one of the greatest moments on this radio show oh, is Francine's know. ridiculous oh, story. I'm trying but to think, though. I might need some edits. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe tomorrow then. Go ahead, Jimmy. <laughs> You're hysterical sometimes, though. So. Why? I don't know. It's just like, there was a porno I was watching the other day. Let's just throw it on. Let's throw it on the air. Well, because she's in studio. Uh, no, I'm just, it's because, like, on this side, there's some things that is oh, so oh. impossible. Oh, I see it's just saying. like, it was a great scene I saw in Platoon. Uh, let's just throw it on. It's one of those, you know. Yeah, I got what you F.S. Saying. Mother. But you got to you got to keep trying, though. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm all for it. If I, it was up to me, I'd put that story on uh, you never right know. now. You never know. It could uh, it could fly on the side somehow. Somewhere. Yeah. Nah, probably not. Uh, all right. What's the card, Jimmy? <laughs> Yeah, when Let's she uses serious. the term, and I won't put it's not in any context, so it's really fine. When she uses the term, it fell out. Oh, <laughs> uh, that would be a problem. <laughs> yeah. They would have a problem yeah. with that down the hall. They probably would. I understand that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's this card about? All right, I was going to ask Francine Ray, but she's shy. I'm very shy because the card's very special. Why are you in the city today? Because you don't come around uh, too often. That usually means you got business in the city. No, I moved to Maryland. You're, you don't even live in the area? You don't live around here anymore? So why are you up here? 
My brother's graduating from college on Sunday. Is that really like, or just somebody you know that's also black? No. <laughs> what grammar school? He's also my black brother. too, but. My brother. Yeah, he's, 40. he's my old brother. No, <laughs> he's 23. So I came here so we could drive up to Maine today. You're going to Maine for yeah. a graduation? Because he went It's to still Maine. winter up there, you know. No, I think it's summer. Uh, the season's changed on the 23rd. Nah. <laughs> Yes, do. On the twenty third, and, and right then it changes, and 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 then what happens? It's not it's not cold anymore in it's Maine. An equinox, and there's a tilt on the planet, and then the sun rises, and something happens, and it gets warmer. So, <laughs> all right, well, she's got the little, she's got the basics in there. Twenty three and a half degree tilt. Francine is sitting kind of on my leg, not exactly on. She's not sitting anywhere. She shouldn't be she's sitting on my leg, but I'm looking at her from the side. And it's so sexy watching her mouth as she talks into the mics. It looks like the Warriors. Sorry about that, Warriors. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Francine, you should read it. Come on. Yeah, read the card. You're, you're my friend for a long time. It's not. It's not. It's not a, a love card. It's just a very nice card. And if no one's ever heard you say nice things, I say a lot of nice stuff. Yeah, like what? Okay, I'll read the card. Thank you. Hey, Jim. Thanks so much for your recommendation. Sometimes when I listen to you on XM, I think, boy, that guy is a kook. And I had not known you, been able to get to know you, perhaps I would still think that. In reality, you are a sweet and kind old and gentle soul, and for that I'm grateful. Thanks to you from the bottom of my heart, your kind words will be remembered. Friends for life, Francine. Thank you, Francine. Hallmark. About that, now, the Francine. problem I Hallmark. had with the card, as nice as it was... Yeah, I'm wondering why you would have a read it. Yeah, I know of what part you think is a little... Yeah. Because reading it, it says this. Sometimes, when I listen to you on XM, I think, boy, that guy's a cook. Oh. It's called it C-O-O-K. <laughs> and I'm like, why no. would you think... How ironic. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very lovely card from Francine. That was very nice to read. Cook. Why would it be ironic? Uh, it's a little inside joke we have about black people. Yeah. White people all have inside jokes about black people. Just like black people have inside jokes about white people. We do? Yeah. Well, you're not really black. You're like, oh, um, no. you're, you're a Tootsie, right? Not a Hutu? I'm a Tootsie roll. She's a Tootsie, not a Hutu. Oh, she explained that to us one day. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Francine was telling uh, somebody in the office that she's been on a date with a guy three times, and she hasn't let him even kiss her yet. The hell? That's a little weird because you're a little uh, you're, you're a little, little slut. You're a little loose. No, not anymore. You're, you're, a bit you're not. Loose. I read a book. You read a book, and that you read a book. An entire book. And what was the book? It was so good. I read a second one by the same lady. It's called Why Men Love Bitches. Oh no! And it ruined you. Yeah. Oh god <laughs> damn! What did you learn from? You know, you what? were almost like I was even considering that you could have been my first black chick ever. Really? Yeah. And when I heard that you broke up with Belinda, I was hoping. <laughs> that I could, but now you read this goddamn book and wrecked everything. Were you really hoping? Ah, damn. Yeah, I thought about it. Could have been my first, uh, my first once you go black. I think we should have a baby. Your family abandons you. <laughs> oh, no one has to know. A baby? Yeah. Well, now you're pushing it. I think baby. I, you should have a kid, Anthony. Mm, I don't think I should. Do it, Anthony. Fatten her up. Yeah. <laughs> Fatten her up. Yeah, yeah but what I learned. Watch it end kid. like the last one. <laughs> <laughs> you well, know, this little story. Yeah, I know. We, we <laughs> that cute you. little story she has. I want to know what uh, she learned from this book. Why men love bitches? Yes. One of my girlfriends gave it to me because she said, you let guys walk all over you, and that's why you never get any respect, and that's why they don't call you back. Mm -hmm. So I decided to read the book that she gave me, and it said that guys are really mean to girls because girls are really, really nice. So I decided to be really, really mean. And now guys like me and call me back. By holding out and stuff? Yeah. How many pages was this book? For your pamphlet. A lot. A lot, and that's what you learned from it? That one statement? The clock. Yeah. <laughs> the <right>. big <laughs> clock. <laughs> Tick tock. <laughs> the end. No, no, no. It was twelve ninety nine. <laughs> and she said, like, you know, don't give them money and don't give them rights to places. Who's this bitch that wrote this book? Yeah. I hate these dis bitch destroying bitch books. <laughs> No, but she was good, though. Hmm. Uh, maybe for you, not good for us. Not good for, uh, yeah, guys. She said, wait, three months, at least. Three months? Before you do what? Before, yeah, what? Before you have sex. Before sex. What about before that? How far can you go before that? 
What's a little, that? a little haul. Oh. No, nothing. <laughs> How about a little? Um, uh, if the guy wants to do something to you, you know. No, you're not supposed to. You're how not long, supposed to take how, your clothes off. What about a little cop of feel? Uh, maybe like heavy uh, petting. Heavy petting, maybe like she said, maybe a month in. A month in. Yeah, she said never go over the guy's house because anytime you go for a guy's house, that means that they're going to expect sex. And I always used to go over their house and just <laughs> not do anything. And I used to wonder, well, why don't they ever call me back? This is really a cruel because you know I want to have sex sometime, but not yet. So I don't go over guys' houses, mm-hmm. and she said to give them jujubes. She said, you know, every time they do something for you, you, you Are know, you give them ki- a little like a tr- doggy treat, yeah. like like you're training them with jujubes. Yeah, a little bit at a time, and then eventually, two three months down, you give them the sex and stuff. Jujubes in lieu of sex. Ugh. I don't know if that strategy's working. Well, These books are horse crap. I thought it was very eye-opening. Really? Yeah. Did you? It's legs opening that we're concerned with. Yeah, it's eye-opening and legs closing. (laughs) I hate that book. (laughs) I've had sex in so long, it's crazy. How long has it been now? I think since January. All right, that's longer than three months. Yeah. What, do you hook up with a guy and it lasts like two and a half months and then you got to (laughs) reset? No, I was having sex with the same guy for like a year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. White guy? No, actually, it was a black guy. Really? Mm-hmm. That might erect you. I was dating a white guy, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you weren't giving him any? Who was better? Mm-hmm. Like, who was, uh, like, uh, more, um, uh, you know what I mean, in in bed? Who's better in bed? Yeah. White guy or the black guy you were with? Uh, in I think, in general, the best sex I've ever had was with a half-white guy. So, I think it's... Half-white. Yeah. What the combination of the two. He was a mulatto, right? A mulatto. Yeah. Oh. Really? All right. The best well, well she's reading books now. This is scary. That is frightening that she's uh, reading. And we also learned that she would have had sex with you, Aunt. I know. And but now she lives in Washington. Why don't we have to have a baby? Why don't what you just have sex? with you people? Just have the sex. It's like, always got to dump out a kid. Why do you want Anthony's baby? Because I'm going to turn 30 next year. What? Really? You're not? What happened there? I'll be 29 in November. She was like so now my clock 22 is ticking. years old or something. We met you when you were like, yeah. Clock is ticking. You were still in college. Oh, you're too old for us. Get lost. <laughs> you shove. <laughs> Hit the brick, sister. Am I too old for you, Anthony? <laughs> no, I think I make an exception because, uh, you know, it would be interesting. I think it would be interesting. Like, uh, when, did, when are you leaving for Maine? Tonight. Uh, uh, tonight, you know. Hmm. <laughs> Are you voting for Obama? Um, no, I'm a Hillary fan. Ooh. You, you heard what she's doing at 9 o'clock, right? What she doing at She's going to announce that she's going to be the third party uh, candidate. My neighborhood would go third on lockdown. <laughs> she doesn't have a chance to get the uh, Democrat uh, Democratic nomination. So she's going to run anyway? As a third party candidate, yes. Are you serious? Independent, yes. That's Announcement's right. coming up uh, at 9. That should be good if you're a Hillary fan because she doesn't have a, a a chance any other way. No, but that's awful. She'll be like that guy who did that thing to Gore. That guy who did that, that guy who did Gore. that thing to well, Gore. I know what she's Gore saying. It's, it, another guy ran. The well, guy. Ralph Nader, right? Yeah, so she's like the new Ralph Nader. <laughs> well, I think if Obama gets the nomination, what seriously. Is, what is Anthony laughing at? Uh, uh, let's see. I, I'm guessing this would be if I took Francine home. Uh, my neighborhood would look like the Omega Man. <laughs> it's just the white guy and the black girl and a bunch of angry Jews trying to get into my house. <laughs> like you, like you would let uh, the neighbors see what you're bringing in your house. Oh, uh, would it be okay if I pulled up first? I went in the front door, and then you kind of just snuck around and came in the back. That no, with clean would you, supplies. Would you dress yeah as a maid so you could come in? Because my neighbors would be really they're, angry. With they're very me nosy, very if, suspicious. If I brought a woman of color over my house, I work for three Jewish companies. Yeah, they love me. Yeah, of course. The Jews like you. Yeah, they do. Mm. They really do. Well, they like you. Maybe work, and they have it. The second they see somebody pulling up next, door. and the house next door. Well, I <laughs> know the house thing next door to me was. Sold to juice. No, there's a new a new couple moving in next door to me, oh, and man. that would just scare the crap out. They'd be like, "Oh, where's the for sale sign?" 
Well, you know what? You save money, though, because they'll build their fence first. <laughs> 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 Who are you kidding? <laughs> Your neighborhood? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. What else you got, uh, Francine? We're, this is called filler. We've got to get a, a couple more minutes in before we leave here. I don't know. My mind's blank right now. What do you mean right now? There's nothing in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said you read two books. What was the second book you read? Why Men Marry Bitches. <laughs> ah, the thrilling Very. sequel. All part of the Bitches series, I see. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Same general message. Be a bitch. Be a cunt. Wow. That's, I certainly hope uh, no. ooh, ooh. that's um, very interesting that it's whoa, still. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, she also certainly said. I hope there wasn't any distractions Francine down the hall. Francine dropped a C-bomb. Yes, she, she sure did. did. Uh, you got something on Mariah Carey, too, Francine? Well, I didn't know she got married. Yeah. It says, who, who heard her say this? Yeah, Danny. well, me and Sam were in the back. She was talking to us. Uh, Francine was flipping through the papers, and uh, Francine had no idea that Mariah Carey had released a wedding album. <laughs> <laughs> released a wedding album. Okay. Mm -hmm. Getting. Well, there's only Are you going to pick it up on iTunes me. later? No, I'm not a fan of Mariah Carey anymore. I'm very upset with Why? her. Why? You used to be a What's big fan done? of her. Yes, I was a very a... big fan of Mariah Carey in the 80s, but I think she's just not a good singer as she used to be. She doesn't hit the high notes anymore. Well, those were annoying. It, they really were. With that she? whistly yeah. sounding. Yuck. I yeah. had a vision of love as one of my favorite songs in the whole world. Why? Because she hits all those notes. You just like the song? No, the song is very lovely. Let's say hi to Spiro. Spiro, what did you learn on the Opie and Anthony show today? Well, fellas, today I learned that if my friend jumped out of a moving vehicle and left me to die, right after I kicked him in the face, I would service his girlfriend. What? Swinging a miss? One flag! One flag of uh, fun, I, sir. I yeah. didn't hear that, actually. No, uh, you Good. heard Jimmy. No, Please. my headphones on late. Uh, someone's asking, is uh, Jimmy sleeping? Well, Jimmy's no, just I'm... very happy because he's got Francine on his lap. Well, she's on my leg, but I'm not Francine and I are sharing a microphone, so I'm letting Francine talk. Yeah, you got uh, any? Uh, no, no, no. It's it's, it's not the. Uh, oh God. The potential could be there because Francine's very sexy, but it's would not have, a. Would you have sex with Jimmy? Yes, I would. Yeah, look wow. at that. Thanks, Hope. If it wasn't for that damn book. Yeah, that dumb book. You're gonna throw that book out the window within three months. You gotta wait it out. You're not three waiting months. three months. Yeah, no. I'm telling you. What if Jimmy wanted you like now, right now? I can't. We got to date and see if we like each other. You know, then wow. get the jujubes. That friggin' book screwed her up I really bad. I like the idea. She's right. I like it. Shut up. You do not think do. she's right. I do. Jujubes. Just go to the bathroom while I get your beverage. She likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, what I I'm eating jujubes. <laughs> with the book is that usually you give it up so quickly that, you know, they get what they want and they leave. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. But the book tells you to wait because then they have to wait for it. So then they have to wait to see if they like you. So now you're waiting to see if you like them, too. How do you know they're not just moving on to some prospect that yeah, is maybe a little I, I, easier? See, you're you're listening to a chick. You, you, you know, the guy yeah, exactly. the guy side of this whole thing is that guys that do that are just nerds. That wait? For three months? I understand waiting a little bit, but three months of waiting, those are nerds. I used those to wait guys... for three months in, like, junior high. Uh, that's an early high school kind of a thing. So what's appropriate? <laughs> when you taught it. <laughs> <laughs> appropriate? Uh, what's the appropriate amount of time? Yeah, you guys tell me. Mm, 15 minutes. What? Yeah, maybe yeah. 20. Yeah, maybe 20. Yeah, yeah 20. 15 minutes is a slut. De depends if there's a good song on the jukebox. Yeah. yeah. The jukebox? Why do you get out of the car for? <laughs> <laughs> Park head. Look. <laughs> That's all for you guys. All right, Francine. What thank you. Weeks? What? What about weeks? Well, we, I, I mean, if you want to... The real answer, like three months, way too long. Yeah. Okay, well, what's the real answer then? A few I'm... weeks, sure. Why not? Like weeks? Yeah. A few weeks, sure. I think it all depends. All depends. Sometimes it, it would take a while, but sometimes you just hit it off immediately. But, and she's talking three months with, like, nothing, right? Yeah, you get kisses and stuff. Some kisses? Maybe hmm. some kisses. What else? Maybe some what?
dealers, but no sex, no actual sex. Like Bill Clinton says that something isn't sex. Do you agree with him? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's so, so that isn't sex. That's so weird to me. That's what? not sex. That's not sex. I mean, come on. Just come on. Cigar for what? Sorry. No, I, you're just talking low. I'm, I want to hear all the good I think it might have been dumped. Oh, really? Oh, she messed up again? And my wife messed up. Okay. All right, we got to get out of here. Francine, thank you. Thank you. Have fun in Maine uh, at that uh, graduation and, and the new job in Maryland, right? Thank you. And we'll see you next. The blood weighs it back down. Yeah. There's too much blood. The cock's too heavy for whatever muscles to hold up. Too much blood in the cylinder, so it's got to start going back down the other way. Holy mother. Can you imagine I... putting your fingers in Steve's ass and squishing them around to fuck it? I, I it, It's almost... And I can talk about beheadings. <laughs> that almost makes me wretch. Almost? Huh? Well, I mean, to talk about it. To put your <laughs> fingers in that awful weight loss <laughs> asshole, ah, which you know is flappy. Yeah. Because all the weight he lost, and squishing your finger had the stink off the hair on his asshole. Oh, God. God. Steve's ass wouldn't smell good after a shower, much less when he's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> With a man dredging his ass out so he could fit that fucking mule in there. After a hard day of sitting in that fucking production office for a total of six minutes, apparently. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, we want to squeeze this in here, so... Um, yeah, squeeze it. So Saturday, we uh, we had a little experiment because the regulars were out of town, and we, we threw D.D., and Francine on uh, 202. Not at the same time, of course. And oh, it, I thought they did the show. No, again. they did an hour no. each or something like that, two hours. I don't know, because I didn't listen. There was no reason to listen. Um, but uh, did you tune in or something? Because you were the one in the office going, what the fuck is going on? No, on because I, I had heard about what was going on. I did not tune in. Uh, I was very, very busy. I, don't, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> but uh, Dee Dee's show apparently was Dee Dee. It's called Dee Dee's Basement. Uh, talking about uh, everything, kind of a free form thing, whereas Francine apparently, uh, Than said had, was a little more prepared, and Francine uh, apparently also had a partner, an on-air partner, some gentleman that left the show, just kind of walked off the show because of some of the things Francine was saying. Let me ask you a question: Did we try to get Francine to, uh, on the phone with that guy? Francine's on the phone. Francine's on the phone. Yeah, we, we do have the other guy's number. We're trying Excellent. to get him on also. Excellent. So, Danny, how bad was the show? You're pretty, uh, um, you're pretty fair. Well, I mean, if you like a show, I mean, this is Dee Dee first. She did uh, two hours. And if you like a show uh, where she talks about eating Bob Kelly's asshole for two straight hours, then it was a great show. Why? Does she like Bob? No, it's just that it came up on Friday, and her whole show was basically saying, I'll eat Bob Kelly's asshole for a second show. And that was the basis of her entire first show. Jesus. Oh, wow. I say we do it. I completely just say Just for it. the hell of it. I just, wow. for the, just for the goof, I mean. Wow, these weekends. Yeah. We'll yeah, Francine fared a little better. She seemed to be a little more prepared. But the guy that she brought with her seemed to be a little uptight. He didn't seem familiar with uh, the nature of the program. Or her? Or, well... Like... And what happened? He walked off? Yeah, I mean, they were pretty far into the show. I mean, they were like 50 minutes in. They, you know, they only had a few minutes left to go, and a caller, I think you have the call right there, a caller uh, made reference to some sexual things, right, and well, he, he had had enough. All right, let's start with, uh, uh, we, I would we think, got three tracks here, by the way. Before we even listen, I'm going to think uh, he's got something for Francine, and he didn't want to sit here and listen to this because it was upsetting him. I don't talking know. talking about things sexual. Wait, is Francine on the phone? Yeah. yeah. Can I ask her a question? I have a question for her. She is black, yes. Yeah, hold, hold, just hold that, because I want to play the first part first, and then we'll get to her when we get the controversy. She did a bit called Francine's Pussy. Yeah, it's it's a bit she does called um, Things I've Had in My Pussy. Oh, all right. It's cute. Great, I just said that. I have shoved up my pussy. A banana. A hot dog. Okay. With saran wrap, of course. Want to be safe. A uh, wooden artifact was a decoration from my living room set. Uh, pens, pencils, my electronic toothbrush. Recommended by your dentist, I hope. <laughs> I still have that toothbrush, by the way, and I still use it. Uh, my teddy bear's nose, the side of my pillow, <laughs> the side of my mattress. A uh, pressure point massager from Brookstone. Diesel Washington's pressure fist. touch massager from Brookstone. A <laughs> uh, percussion massager. 
Also, another marvelous invention of Brookstone. Jeez, it'd be fascinating to think you haven't brought I'm my protein on- ketchup, <laughs> uh, mayonnaise. To go along with the hot dog, obviously. No, no. This no? is separate occasions. Uh, mustard. I've sprayed perfume on it as well. Well, of course. Ketchup and mustard. It stung like a motherfucker. I will never do that shit again. Uh, three fingers, of course. Uh, Barbie doll parts. That's uh, when I was 12 or 13 years old. Bored. Uh, an actual, and an actual dildo. Those are all the things I have shoved up my pussy. Nice. So you can call me up eight six six wow one wow and tell me what you have shoved up your pussy. I would love to know. Fucking brilliant. She deserves another <laughs> she's, show. Uh, That's how she started her show. She's, she's talking about the stuff she shoved up her pussy. And you know what? She's not lying. No. That isn't a bit for the show. That's she truly has shoved all that shit up her pussy. One thing I don't like, that dude chiming in. Yep, Francine. Hey, fellas. Hey, baby. Good, Hi, Francine. Good job with the opening bit. Thank you. A happy MLK Day to you guys. Happy MLK Day to you. Uh, Thank you. Wh- what do you got? The phone up your pussy? You sound a little <laughs> muffled. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this one, so it might end up there. You're a little <laughs> pussy uh, shoving animal. That's correct. Francine, now, uh, who was this guy? How do you know him? He's uh, one of my comedy friends that I met doing comedy. Is he a comedian? Yes, he is. How long is he a comedian? Uh, probably over uh, four years, three, four years. What? Where is he from? Boston, you said? Yeah, Boston. What's his name? Hello? Yeah, what's his name? Uh, his name's Anthony. Anthony what? Uh, Anthony, uh, Pass Andreas. Pass Andreas? Yeah. Never heard of him, sir. So, now, you thought he's a funny guy, you know him from doing comedy, is he a good comic? <clears throat> Actually, I thought he was pretty good. He did, he did regular stand-up comedy, and he also did, uh, like, guitar stuff, like he would sing songs. Oh, he sounds really original. How, how'd you get, how, now, what made you say this is the guy for the radio show with me? Well, the thing is, uh, I invited a friend, and he never got back to me. I invited my best friend, who also does television, to get back to me. And he and I had actually done, like, a mock show well, before. third choice. Uh, well, yeah, but he did a mock show with me about a year ago, and it, I think it, did, it went pretty well, so I decided to ask him. Right. Yeah, he was just kind of a distraction there. He really was. And why did he walk off the show? That's what we're trying to get at. Yeah, here. I want to know what he's like. like. I'm wondering what the fuck happened. Well, uh, one guy asked me how I felt about money shots. Uh, and, well, I simply told a story about when I was 14. Uh-huh. And... I and well, what like is it. that story? Well, we got the we got the phone call. So oh, this, good. This is where the co-host had a problem. Here's uh, Francine taking a phone call. <laughs> Hold on, Danny. From this past Danny. Saturday night. I want to set it up a little bit more than that, he, the the guy that was in Anthony, he was getting hammered by the callers. So this caller called in and and kind of uh, was trying to ease him out of his funk and say, "Oh, don't worry, don't listen uh, to them, don't listen to them." But he was really just digging it. Wait, home. Get, get it, now, how are they getting on him? We didn't know any of this. How, how are they attacking? Because they were just telling him, you know, the callers were calling in, and just be like, "Oh, shut up!" You know, shut they were telling Francine. Yeah, exactly. Do we have yeah. any of that? Yeah, listeners know. Uh, they know bad radio. They did a lot of Ramones. A lot of Ramones. Oh, we, do we have any of those? Love to hear Ramones. You guys do. Let's go to uh, Steve in Ohio. Hello, Steve. Steve. What's up? What's doing? You wanted to give me some pointers? Well, yeah. You know what, Francine? Obviously, you sound like a very attractive woman. And, you know, I, I want to say the people... By the calling... way, I lost five pounds for the show today. <laughs> oh, well, wow, honey. That's beautiful. Hey, Anthony, first of all, don't listen to these guys. You, you should uh, put your, you know, you should put your two cents in a lot more. Thank you. You know what I mean? You, you, you should be asking Francine a lot more sexual questions because that, that's what seems to get people going on her show. I mean, she's a sexy it lady. that way. Well, you know, I'm, I, I just wanted to say, I mean, this is a wonderful show. I mean, well, what, thank attracts you. Every, what attracts everybody to you is how you're just open sexually. So I have just one question. Okay. I want to know how you feel about the money shot. Uh, okay, I've never taken a money shot. But I really? I have swallowed cum, and I'll tell you what happened. Okay, okay. so uh, I think I'm about uh, 14 years old, <laughs> and 
Uh, Anthony, where are you going? The show is yours. Uh, okay, so um, I'm 14, and uh, I'm in the living room with my How boyfriend. great is Francine? <laughs> <laughs> That's how she... How do you... She, wow. Francine's a sociopath. How do you not love her... Her co-host just walked in. She said, where are you going? Show's yours. <laughs> Show's oh, okay. yours. So I'm 14. <laughs> that is it the greatest. didn't and fucking phase her. rolling. If someone spilled water on the console, that would have been more of a what distraction. What a fucking professional. I got to go back because you can tell the guy's really pissed because he slams his pen. <laughs> That was the headphones coming headphones. off. Oh, the headphones? Yeah. All right. Yeah. It sounded like the kind show's of a, yours. It sounded like a pen or something. But listen, you can hear him slamming his headphones. Uh, I think I'm about uh, 14 years old. <laughs> and uh, Anthony, where are you going? The show is yours. Uh, okay, so um, I'm 14. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so I'm 14. Just like She's one a goldfish. And You'll forget he existed eight seconds after she started that story. A goldfish. <laughs> ah, that's great. Uh, Where are you going? Show's yours. That's it. All right, I was 14. Uh, Anthony, where are you going? Show's yours. Uh, okay, so um, I'm 14. <laughs> And uh, I'm in the living room with my boyfriend, <laughs> and uh, I'm sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he accidentally, swear to God, he accidentally came in my mouth because he never did it before. And uh, I wasn't near uh, the bathroom or anything, so I swallowed it. <laughs> it was disgusting, but it was the first and only time I've ever swallowed sperm. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. What a great show. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, Francine, you, yeah, right on, man. So Thank you didn't give a shit that he walked out? Uh, I forgot he walked out as soon as he walked out. Yeah, see, Jimmy's right, like a yeah. goldfish. She just went to call. Like, she just started taking calls, and that's where this third track comes in. Like, she's just going to call, and I, I felt like I had to interrupt and just be like, Francine, your, your co-host just left. Oh, so... She, and she just didn't even... She was like, yeah, no, whatever, it's all right. So, Fra Francine knew she could carry she gonna, the whole show. Yeah, I thought she was going to make something of it. She what could a, carry the nah, show. Good for you, Francine. That fucking unfunny pussy couldn't handle... Why did he leave, Francine? What kind of guy like, would walk out on a cum-swallowing story? I know. What kind of guy? A 14-year-old cum-swallowing story. That was a slight... No, why? <laughs> right to the point she goes. Why? Uh, why did he leave? Well, I actually don't know because I gave him the format. Like I typed it out for him, and he has a copy of it, so he knew exactly what I was actually going to talk about. Oh. Um. So I think maybe it might have been that the Ramon callers that really turned it off. No, it was the cum swallowing story. That was what yeah. That, that put him the over line. the edge. Why would that put him over the edge? Um, I also thought that maybe perhaps it might have been that, uh, I don't know, maybe he had nothing to put in. <laughs> All right, let me uh, put, get... Put his cock in your mouth. Let me get to the last track <laughs> here. telling that story. He's trying to call me, what happens? <laughs> he's not picking... We're just getting... Uh, of mail. course, he's not picking so up. So, Danny, uh, this is the third track, and uh, she goes back to the phones, and then you... Go. Yeah, she's just about to start taking more phone calls. I, I gotta ask. Like, I gotta interrupt and find yeah. out what the fuck just happened. <laughs> I gotta right? ask first, Francine. Have you spoken to him since? Have you spoken to him? I I spoke to him after the show. Uh, I tried to call him because he was supposed to sleep over my house, and he decided to sleep over somebody else's house. What a dumb motherfucker! You're you're talking about putting things in your pussy, pussy and swallowing a load, so he walks off the air and stays with <laughs> a friend. What a homo! Would you ever, or have you ever, uh, fucked the guy? Um, actually, we went out on one day. Uh, when I first started doing comedy. Yeah, and you nailed it. And did did, did you have sex with him? Well, the thing is, I most of my comedy shows, when I did do a lot of them, had a lot of sexual content. Yeah. So it tends to throw off a lot of the comics. So a lot of them tried to date me, and he was one of them. All right, and so you went out, but was there any sex between you two? Uh, no, because I, I really wasn't attracted to him in that way. Yeah. Was there anything kissing or... And anything. I mean, he he tried to kiss me uh, when we were when I was going to Mamaroneck. I was trying to go back home in the train, and I told him no. Uh oh. Yeah. See, here's <laughs> yeah, the deal. He this it. guy likes you a lot, 
and uh, you talking about that shit disturbed him. He didn't like hearing about you getting cum in your mouth at 14 and sticking all kinds of shit in your pussy, and, you know, that, that like, upset him. Well, I don't know why it would upset him, because he already knew I was going to say it. He knew that's what I was going to open with, and he knew some of the stories that I was going to... Yeah, but he probably that. thought it was like cute story, not graphic, maybe. Not so graphic, and not talking that you were 14 at the time. You he know, was just so, flat out disgusted. So he's just picturing the the little 14-year-old girl he loves taking a mouthful of fucking cum. <laughs> ah, which, by the way, is beautiful. Of course. <laughs> you old for my taste. Uh, was story if you're 11. A white guy? No, no, no. It was a black guy. Black guy came in your mouth? Yeah, it was the I only time. I can't talk to you again, and you're never kissing me on the cheek when you come in. Okay, it was the only time, Anthony. I, it was an accident. I no guess. more black cock. No. You hear well, me? No yeah, more yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Anthony. <laughs> All right, hold on. Hold on the line. I want to play the third track. So uh, so she goes right to the calls, like, whatever. I'm going. I'm moving on with my show, and Danny interrupts to, to see what the fuck just happened. <laughs> hey, Danny's uh, fun. Hey, Francine, before you take another call, I just, uh, I thought that we would need to bring it to the audience's attention that your co-host up and left. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Why did you bring a guy that, that was going to walk out on you because of, because of your show? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I don't know why he left. Uh, well, I do. He said, he said that he, he didn't know that the show was going to be all about sex because this isn't what you guys went over. Uh, okay. Well, the thing is, uh, I I outlined it and I gave it to him, and that's pretty much what I did. So he should know like some of the stuff I was going to talk about. I uh, do you guys want to discuss it some more? Oh yeah, my co-host left you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. That's because uh, I, I I wasn't even thinking about it. Ah, there you go. So she is Francine's fucking insane. hysterical. And, and how did you outline that, Francine? Did the, I would love to read this outline. Oh, Section yeah. one, things I put in my cunt, uh, commercial break rejoiner, <laughs> things I put in my asshole, take calls. <laughs> take calls. 14 years old, came, guy came in my mouth, yeah, but that's co-host leaves. Here's what she put, 14 YRS and then parentheses, mouth cum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Francine. Yes, Anthony. Now, this guy... Uh, obviously, he was pissed off that um, he didn't know this show was going to be so sexual. Is that what he said? What did he expect, and what what type of guy is he? Like, what what would he contribute to a radio show? What did he well, want to do? Well, I don't know. Well, he gave me a couple of CDs, and I listened to them. Uh, they weren't so bad. I think it was musical stuff that he'd come up with. So he wanted to cover music or, or what, what's he wanted to He wanted to play his own bits. Do we have that? He wanted to play his own fucking comedy bits yeah. off a CD? Yeah. Do we have On them? a radio show? At, while she's talking about shit, she's fucking putting up her pussy? Is he insane? Yeah. Swallowing cum and... Uh, I, I just, I overheard, uh, I overheard them in the office prepping and I, he was like, so do you think, uh, you think we'll have time for my rap song? Oh, no. Wait, is wait, wait. is, is he a sorry. white guy? I feel sorry for Danny. He has to put this shit together every weekend. Francine, white guy or black guy? He He's white. Uh, where's, white where's guy. The, where's the Excuse me. Where's the rap uh, song? We need his material. I, I think he took it, actually. I think he took it Oh, back. my God. Francine, do you have it? I can, I can ask him for it. Ask him for it. Where can we get it immediately? What's his name? His name's Anthony Papandreas, but I have to I have to get in contact with him. I'm pretty sure he'd be more than happy to let you guys play it. Well, right, we would actually give it a fair shot. You were sure he'd be more than happy to be your co-host too, you fucking lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, right. he's he also like the thing is we also I also did the news. Yeah. And we talked about some other topics besides sex, but. I mean, like, there wasn't much that he was saying, so I had nothing to go with, so I had to move on to the good stuff. Goddamn, see, Francine knew. Yeah, it's like you go. go to the news, you do a little stuff, you see, and then you go, all right, now we know where to hit these guys between the eyes. Francine, and I think you get another shot. Yeah. I, want you to, I want you to come in with an outline for your next show so we can go over with it. Uh, go over it with you. See, Francine, oh. And we're going to hone in and make sure you're really, really uh, focused for the next one. See, Francine's a, a woman Thank you can you. have on the radio who's not a whole because she's honest and funny and just a fucking perv and she doesn't give a shit. This is not what we're talking about when we're talking about a whole. 
Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. I know people, is, you know, you get plenty of funny women on the phone, on, exactly. on the uh, radio. Yeah. What a great Martin Luther King Day we, yes. we've had today. We have uh, Francine talking about her radio show with Stuff Up Her Pussy <laughs> and uh, being 14 years old and having a black man come in her <laughs> mouth. That is right there enough for MLK Day. But that wasn't enough. We had the guy, the gay guy from The Apprentice. Francine's over there uh, just being dumb. She's good looking, but she's like, she's like high class ghetto. You know what I mean? Like, well, she was like pretty uh, white. She, she's growing a high class. She's girl. my type of black girl because yeah. she has that, she has that that long, thin African body. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> a, like Ethiopian. No, like, you know, like there's like, you there's, know, like, she, there's like that African when you go over there and they have yeah. that like tall, long leg with that risen ass. She would catch her food quicker than anybody else. That's how long her legs are. She, <laughs> is that a run fast joke? Man, she's got long I legs. I was get that complimenting her legs. Do you, do you have stretch marks? On my butt. Yeah, black oh, girls we, always have stretch marks, them? no matter how skinny they are. Show us the stretch mark. You have stretch marks on your butt? Yeah, just yeah, show us. Show apparently. Us. Because the skin on a black chick... Oh, the more. oh here we go. On All right. Black chick. Here, here, here he goes. You know, black people... Jimmy the Greek is going to speak. No, this See is the skin on the black chick. <laughs> All right, why don't you explain further Back there? in the slave oh. days. <laughs> uh, no, the, the, seriously, all black chicks have stretch marks because of their skin. Really? Yeah, and, and look how thin she is. She should not have stretch marks at all. You shouldn't be able to see. Can we just see? Unless you were can bigger. Can see what they look like? The well, that's why their cuts are... Uh, Let me why see. On uh, black people, you see their go. cuts? Because their oh, skin is Jesus. thinner than white people. Oh, around. my God. Turn skin around. is thinner. Turn around. Turn around. Let me right. see. Look at those long African legs. Turn around. Wait, turn around. I can't see. See, like, like, no, no, you gotta turn around. around. You can't the light. You, the things you gotta get in the light. You gotta slow down. You can't see. Now take I'm this off. Anymore. Just take <laughs> this off. <laughs> take the top off. No, no, no. Just take I the. No, the jacket is covering the the stretch marks. <laughs> take this off. Just take off. the jacket. No, see the jacket. I can't even see because of the light. The light. Turn. Walk into the light over here. So <laughs> look at those guys outside. <laughs> look at. See right here. Why right are you touching here. her ass? So so soft. Soft. You got it. You're married now. Uh, no, I didn't touch her ass. I touched her hip. <laughs> Dude, that hurt. Let she could actually have a better ass with her pants off mm. than wanna... on. Some girls, like, yeah. it's, it looks better with the pants on than off. Yeah. Like, hers actually looked better. She's got a great... She's got Look a great... Look at that evolution perfect. of... I Let can't get her. She says her ass there. is perfect. Yeah. Where you, God God was like, well, brains are an ass. She, yeah. she has a, a nice... Can't have both. She has a nice I cucka. look fantastic in a thong. Do you? Yeah, I don't wear them often, but I do look good in them. Well, can't I you look just, at myself in the mirror Can't lot. you just show us, uh, I don't know, in show your whole ass? Because that's like wearing a bathing suit. I'll do it. I'll, I'll show you my ass if you it show It is like a bathing ass. suit. You did show us his ass. I'll earlier. show my whole ass if you show your whole Gentlemen. ass. Well, my in whole the, in ass? If you're just in, like, uh, uh, panties, it's like it's like a bathing suit, <laughs> in, right? In, in the office earlier, she was telling everybody that she wants breast implants to help her self-esteem. <laughs> oh, okay. Well... What's that about, Francine? Uh, thanks, Kenny. You're not happy with uh, your You're upper welcome. half? welcome. By the way, uh, Rich, congratulations. I, I got the Amazon rank here for your uh, DVD, CD, whatever. It's probably low. Not really. Uh, Dane Cook, Vicious Circles, uh, 602 right now. Wow. Mm. And you are 58,131. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't care. I, I make good money. <laughs> He's like, I make good money. I don't care. I don't care. I, I'm just trying to get to 57,000. <laughs> did you, did you do that, Nathaniel? To, to... No, Travis did. Oh, okay. What are you going to do? Nothing. I was just wondering how you, how you did it. I want to find out how to do it. He says it right. Why, you want to keep track? Maybe no. your mediocrity. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> mediocrity. <laughs> mediocrity. First of all, my DVD and my DVD is hilarious. It doesn't matter hilarious. if hilarious. 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 Of a lot of people don't Use know. Use a different word. <laughs> that shit's hilarious. 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 That shit's hilarious, hilarious. and funny. shit. It's dope. T Tony. Hilarious. Dope. That's from your, uh, what was it, BET? No, where were no. you again? Um, the stress Factor is where I taped it, my DVD. Oh, no, when you were doing the black comedy circuit. What about it? You picked up Hilarious. Did I? I don't know. BET, Def Jam, I did them Def all. Def Jam, thank you. Def Jam. So we're going to see Francine's yeah. uh, panties. Fr yeah. Francine, one second. Bobby, work it. No, I'm not, I don't want to work anything up. I just want to, I really want to, <laughs> I really want to uh, prove a point here. Okay. Because... Her body is first of all, you got an unbelievable body. But thank you, Robert. Oh, right. You're welcome. It is, no, dude. The, 
with your panties on, which is basically like a bikini. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, have, you have panties on, right? Yes, I wear panties. What kind, yeah. of, what kind of panties do you have on right now? Victoria's Stolen. Secret pink panties. They're my favorite. They're what? Pink panties from Victoria's Secret. Oh, what, what, which what, fall season or what, which season? <laughs> I think this is last fall. Can I see, can I see them? Let's you just, just saw them. No, I saw you. You didn't show me them. Stand, just st- stand up and show me. So in, order, in order to see what you look like, as you were saying, you look very good in a thong. Leave your panties on. I want to show yeah. you something about just her. Just leave your panties I'm on, on pulled up. You don't pull even me. have to pull them yeah. down. I want to show you something about her ass. All right, Francine, I leave guess... Leave your panties on, but pull... Uh, you have to see both cheeks, though. Yeah, I guess... Turn you, around I guess the, and just pull down a little bit. Bobby's on to something, uh, Francine. All right, okay, fair enough. If you right. want to continue so being on the radio, on. Don't, you'll... Uh, don't, I won't take a while. You'll do what uh, Bobby right. says. But take the jacket off, because it covers you. Yeah, see? You're not naked when you take the jacket off. No, you got leave, a bra leave, under there? No, she can leave the And take your braids out of your hair. I can't right. do that. Oh. We can. All right. Well, all right. Go on the uh, Ron and Fez rug there in front of Bobby. Right here. We need a light, though. You need to stand right and, uh, at the corner here because the light is coming straight. Our light. Our lighting in here has to be fixed, by the way. We'll go. Yeah. We need stand lights on the, in that Stand area. on the rug so Especially when we can see. Black girls naked. Now. Right there is good. Now turn now, around. Ho- hold Wait, on. Stop. Now stop. Stop. Now just pull, stop pull it right down just there. a little bit more. Right Hold now, on. turn this way so I can see. Yeah, no one can now, see, if, really. if you can see... Now, if you, can you make those bikinis? You're getting no, applause can you make, from the stop audience. Stop one second. Oh, no, you're, you're right on the money, right there. Stop, let go, relax, you're fine. Now, just scrunch up the... Just do this with your fingers. Yeah, like this, look. No, no, no. Like this. Right at the bottom. Right, like that. Now, scrunch it up a little okay. bit. Now, pull it up. Yeah, no, make like a thumb no, 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 cut. No, don't go crazy. No, that's it. Don't go nuts. Don't go nuts. Why don't you... I can't. Just no, that, you know what you got to do, right Bobby. I just Bobby, show you yeah. You're going a little crazy with that. Am I getting a little nuts? Yeah. What you got to do though is take the pants down below the panty level, so all we see is panty right. and leg. Right. So you, we didn't see leg. We saw kind of like back. That's all. That's all. There's a certain thing. Watch. Down just little, pull down. down yeah, it's got to go. Yeah, further. Down a little more. Down a little more. Right? Oh, okay. A little further. Now turn. Now turn. She's got Like, no, the other way. The pants are up too high. It looks like you're Turn the other way. It looks like you're taking... No, 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 turn, turn. No, 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 no. Turn no. this way turn a little this bit. Turn this way. There you go. Okay, now, hold right on. Down. Now. Now turn around completely. Now see? When you see your hip bone there right up there? See that? Now spin this way a little bit more. Now see even her uh, Vacucci hair? Mm-hmm. Right there? It's it's very, very, very... There's like very little hair coming, like sprouting out from her panties. Now turn <laughs> not very, Not very hairy? <laughs> All right, now you can go back to cleaning. <laughs> you have a, you have a, you have a really, you do have a really nice ass. Thank you. And you have very minimal stretch marks. Yeah, you can't really see them. What do you, what do your nipples look like? Like prunes? <laughs> prunes. Or are, they, are they pink? Or like they, are they dark, pink. dark black? Or what are they? I think they're brown. Have brown ever... or black? No, they're brown. Are you sure it doesn't? It really? Yeah. Does it, okay. Does it look like an old piece of gum on the sidewalk? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what are you getting at? I know what he's saying, though. No, man. you know, because sometimes skinny girls uh, don't have. <laughs> they don't have. They're not inflated enough yeah, to have not... any type of real shape, yes. so they're just like like gum on a sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> That's having gum That's on a sidewalk. That's hilarious. That shit's hilarious. That's hilarious. 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 <laughs> 58,000. <laughs> 58 what? Don't worry about what place your fucking DVD is in. See, I knew that. I knew CD, you were bothered. Whatever the when fuck. you said you weren't bothered, I knew you weren't bothered. Well, it could be out of a million. That's still good. <laughs> still good. <laughs> if a wow. million people are selling DVDs. There you go. Francine has got a nice Francine, ass. have you ever had a lesbian experience? Yeah, yes, but, I have. I mean, not just a little kiss like in college. Have you thrown down? Like, really? Yeah. And you wow. got face involved downstairs? You, you ate some bush? Well, here's the thing. I'm not really into chicks, and I wasn't mm-hmm. really ready for it. So I used saran wrap, because I really didn't feel <laughs> like Jesus, I was I wish ready I, for Why it. was she Arab? <laughs> How many times I wish I did that? <laughs> no, I, just, saran wrap. I, just, I just didn't feel it, you know? Like, I'm not a true lesbo or something. Wait, no, yeah. was she white or black? She was black, too. She was black. Where did you eat her did- in a deli? <laughs> what did you get saran wrap? In the kitchen. What do you so mean? You, so you were about to eat her out, and you said, hang on, stop. Yeah. And you ran into the kitchen, got saran wrap. Sure did. Wouldn't that take the sexiness out of it? You and you think. Went, And there was a black chick. How did you seduce her? Like, um, We were hanging around watching television. Drinking Kool-Aid. 
No, I don't drink Kool-Aid. I'm just okay. I'm trying to make the fantasy. Why do you have to be such a racist? I know, Rich. Why do you have to be so racist? I grew up in a black neighborhood. Black people drink Kool-Aid. That's not racist at all. That's racist. Being a racist. That's not being racist. I don't drink. I used to drink Tang. Is that better? And yeah, but you would put you would put Saran wrap on top of it before you ate it. No, you mix it with water and it makes jizz. It makes a what? Jizz. Yeah. We <laughs> so, so you went down. Okay. Now, did she do return the favor? Go well, down. She sure did. She did. Use a Ziploc or tin foil. <laughs> <laughs> no, she just did it. She really wanted to. I guess. Was she hot or diesel dyke? No, she was. Hot. She was like me. She was hot. Really? Light skin or or we look almost a, alike a lot. Really? Yeah. Red bone. No, she's more brown skin than I am. Red, but yeah, but I think I liked it because she looked like me. Really? Yeah. Mm. And you come from a part of uh, Africa where, what, they're cuter, right? You told us that at a book signing or something. Well, she's part of that whole um, Tootsie. Yeah, and, the, um, what's your tribe again? Tootsie yes, roll or something? Yes, the Tootsie no. tribe of Rwanda. <laughs> oh, the Tootsie tribe. Rwanda, they're pretty, yeah. They're pretty badass. Yeah, yeah, the Tootsies and, Tootsies and the uh, other ones. Yeah, our ancestry is from, I think, Egypt and Ethiopia. So we look more like Somali and Ethiopian. Did you guys put rings around your neck to stretch your no, neck out? No, we don't. Yeah, what did your tribe do that was weird? The the, the lip plate? The Hutu were the other ones. Yeah, the yeah. Bantu tribes who look more like the stereotypical, you know, the ones that you see in where magazines. And <laughs> in New Pennsylvania? Yeah. And no. then the Tutsis are like the ones that kind of have more of a, an Egyptian... Well, more Kinda. Ethiopian look. It's like you—you like you could uh, if I pulled your dead body out of a like casket, five thousand years from now, it would look like, like the Egyptian. Well, actually, you kind of got that bone structure. Yeah, we have the quote-unquote bone structure of the like European kind of look. We look like. Well, supposedly we're supposed to look like white people, like bone structure, like but just black. The hungry, right. the That's hungrier it. you get, a is the fatter world. your stomach. <laughs> I don't know. Why is that? Does your, does your stomach just blow it out like if you haven't eaten in a couple of days? <laughs> no, you're, it doesn't. You're if, fucking terrible. If you, were, if you were in a basket on the head race. What? Nothing. <laughs> I'm loving it there. Very <laughs> good. You can you run a marathon under two hours? I can't run a marathon. Those are Kenyans. Oh. Have you ever tried? No. You have a great bum. How's your feet? Do they look like shoes? Wait, Bob likes feet, right? Oh, Bob, you're into the feet? I like feet, man. Right. I like feet. What Francine, kind of feet a, do you have? Put a footsie up here for Bobby. A tootsie. Yeah, kind of, put your tootsie <laughs> footsie. <laughs> up here, your tootsie. Yeah, take your tootsie footsie. So, Dr. Sidney. Get your Hutu shoe. Do you have nice feet? I have okay feet. All right, let's show Bob. Bob loves feet. Seriously. He'll, he'll give you a, a whole uh, analysis on your foot. Does your foot look like a wax hand? <laughs> like, does it look like it has wax on it? Like, is it ashy? Is it like, or is it nice and soft? I have regular feet. Can right, I let's see your foot. I'd love to see them. Just pop it up on the count console here. Take that discount boot off and oh. show me your foot. <laughs> First of all, that. they're real Skechers, and they weren't discounted. Ooh, she, just Skechers. Said, she just said Skechers. How can you? Real Skechers. What's the difference between real and fake Skechers? Well, the real ones are real. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, the real ones are real. She showed you. Like okay, put it, put it right up there on that. Um, she can actually put it right on my knee. If comes she, out. Okay, kind of too can, high. Can I, put it up there. By the way, the only person that Francine will listen to in this whole studio is Anthony. Do you know that that she should put it up there? Yeah, that way cool. everyone could see it. You oh. selfish bastard. All right, let's go. Can I don't I care about I feet. don't like my feet, and I would prefer not to show them. No, but a, a lot I of like my ass, and I show a lot of girls are self conscious, but they usually have like nice ones. Yeah, we'll we'll let you know, and then you could quickly like pull it away if it's this is, uh, this is a, a talon. This yeah, is know. what? Come on, Francine. It's not fair. Honestly, no. Life isn't fair. It's just, it's just who cares? It's a foot. We, you, yeah. you're already a ten. There's yeah, nothing a, can. It's a foot. Nothing thing. can me- mesh you up. <sighs> nice compliment. I bet, I bet she's got. I bet she's got great feet. I just said I have okay feet. Hey, as she makes her way to the Take console and takes. Her- oh, push, push. Oh, wait a minute. Stay there. Bobby wants to put hot sauce. Very good. Those are starting to come in. Wow. Let me keep it down. All right, Francine. 
Wow, you know, she's uh, the bottom of your foot. You look like a white person. <laughs> That's how it goes. The bottom of her a... foot has a job. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Rich is killing the guys in the bleachers, man. Those are my people. I hear you. Can I ask you it's a question? Uh, if I threw a fish at you, would you catch it with your foot? <laughs> <laughs> you have the longest. Are those fingers or toes? That's they a, look like high lie paddles. That's a to- <laughs> <laughs> That's a tootsie footsie. That's a tootsie. Yeah, but the tootsie footsie. Yeah. That long. She, mm. Oh God. Why Don Cheadle will try to well, save your foot. Everything on her is very long. Why like, does it look? She's got very long and slim from, arms. And, from my angle, I'm looking at the bottom of your foot. It looks like your toes are really dirty. No, she's got lint on her toes. <laughs> and there's berries stuck on the bottom. <laughs> oh, God damn it. This is not... Did you walk the proper have, way to be did you talking walk in, to... Did you walk in fresh tar? <laughs> no. You, you, I don't walk socks. She got lint from her socks, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Wow. What color are your what socks? What do you think, Bobby? You like feet. I don't know. I want to see. Hold my coffee cup for me with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What color are your socks? Yeah, they're black socks. Oh, okay. So that's then what the lint is, right? It's just lint. Wilson. Can I, can I smell it? Yeah, let Bobby smell your foot. Oh, God. It smells like a foot? <laughs> it smells like a foot. That could mean a lot of things. What do you think? I don't know. that She has these little, tiny, little... All, all the, Her toe is huge. Oh. She has like a linebacker toe. And then the, little, the other ones are long and thin. And then it looks like a, a nine-year-old actually painted her nails. Those but, were uh, painted about two weeks ago. Mm, I'm glad you keep up on your well, feet. When do you get your check again to do it? The big- <laughs> I told you guys I lost my toe. I can't Christ. afford to do my toes how, how, anymore. Big toe, the big toe from where I sit is yeah. shaped like a spade. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, come on Jesus. now. Look, look, that type look. of language. I, no, I have to defend I don't think he meant what you guys No, like, uh, like on a deck of cards. Uh, look at that. That's a spade. Can you turn it this way a little bit? Can you turn No, the other way. To me. It yeah. does. It looks like a spade. It does look like a little spade. Hmm. It does. All right. Well, your big toe looks bit. like Lavelle Crawford's head. That's a big toe. Do you do you have lint on your toe? Do you want me to get? You, you want to flick that off? Flick you, that why, off. Why, why you, do you have lint when you do the hotel rooms? Aren't you supposed to wear shoes? What hotel? Rich. <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus! Uh, you God, is Rich pounding the same subject, hoping to get a laugh. You lost your bleacher uh, peeps. <laughs> 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 So you got to, honey. You got to put some cream on your leg. You I look like you look like an anaconda shedding. An anaconda shedding. Look how dry your leg. I'm getting thirsty <laughs> looking at your leg. She's molting in front of us. <laughs> you need uh, you need some lotion. You need some cocoa. But she needs. I have to be here at six thirty. Listen to me. I yeah. ran out my house. Run to the nearest Italian restaurant and have them cook your leg in olive oil. <laughs> Yeah, black it, people are known to be very ashy. Well, I thought you weren't black. Ashy. I am black. She's, she's tootsie she's, black. She is my type of black. I mean, and this is the the first black girl I ever been with looked just like her. Unbelievable. I love that long, long, beautiful legs. I mean, I, I I like the way she looks because she looks the way no black man would want a black woman to look. And they don't like me. Either. Of course they don't. You don't got a big ass, like oh, a, yeah. a French transvestite. You don't. You don't go. Mm-hmm, you don't you have that sassy thing going. You know. Can I uh, jump in here for a second? Yeah. Uh, DVDs ranked higher than Rich Voss's on Amazon. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, thank you to this guy. I got to find him again. Tim H from Columbus, Ohio. He's he's great at helping the show. Uh, Mary Kate and Ashley's favorite parties. Of course, that's here. Oh, please, they're billionaires. How long has that been out? Engelbert Humperdinck Live. <laughs> I bought. I bought his. <laughs> and <laughs> Milk Money, starring Melanie Griffith and oh, Ed, Ed Harris. That Great. horrible that movie. That should have been up for an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Tim in Columbus, Ohio. Francine, what happened? Francine, well, yeah, we're getting this news now that you've been fired. Yes, guys, I got fired. On Thursday last week. What? <laughs> That's terrific. That's terrific. So upset. Now, what what were you doing? What was your job? I am a property manager. I manage properties. <laughs> I'm a property manager. I manage properties. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, if you had a leaky toilet or a leaky ceiling, you would call me and I would get it fixed. Like, from... You're not, you're not good enough to unclog toilets? Is that what you're getting at? 
No, I get somebody to do it. I don't know how to do that. What is that like? Like, what organization? Is it an organization, a private company? Uh, or is it based? Like, it's in- a incorporated. <laughs> But it's like like here here's the deal here's what I'm confused with, if you're in an apartment building and your your ceiling's leaking, yeah. you could call three one one, and uh, and then they'll, like the city will be aware of this situation and and mm. and do something perhaps or just laugh at you. But if you have a management company that manages your building, like what ah. I usually work for, oh you call, okay, you call me. Now that makes sense. So yeah. then, and then you get on the phone with what a contractor, and say uh, exactly. send over a plumber because yes. the toilet's broken, yes. and you apparently ask for a plumber when there was a ceiling problem. Um, I could usually no? tell those differences. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, by the way, I want to know how she got fired though. Uh, well, don't kill the messenger. Uh, douche nozzle. A uh, douche nozzle, yes. The douche nozzle. Uh, of course. Francine was replaced with a hotter chick that puts out cock teases don't work long. <laughs> oh. Well, that's not very nice, is it? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. I went to work looking hot every day. <laughs> there you go. Okay, mm. every day. And I have no kids. Yeah, Seriously. see? So you don't have lasagna belly or any of that stuff? I have no lasagna belly. What do you think of lasagna belly? I think it's disgusting. You almost, you actually have one kid. I do. You have one kid, the one that fell out. Remember? Oh, that <laughs> you guys. Your your so miscarriage. Funny. He's so dead. <laughs> oh my God. He's in a sewer somewhere. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Remember her story? Yeah, she had a miscarriage. Remember her story. She didn't know, like you knew you were pregnant, but you didn't yeah. know what to do about it. And then uh, one day. It just fell out of her. I was and getting my braces tightened. <laughs> I was getting my braces tightened, and 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 something else got loosened. Yeah, up. they it, it just fell out of her, and instead of being sad, she was like, "Yay!" She was so happy. Seriously. Yeah. You know how tight you have to tighten braces <laughs> to make a fetus fly out of a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, is this doing it or just some guy in a garage with a wrench? Yeah. Did yeah. you just go, ta-da, the aristocrats? <laughs> uh, well, I think it was before or after the tightening. Uh-huh. I cannot remember. But after it came out and I flushed it and smiled, the lady was knocking on the door and she said, are you and Kay in there? You've been there for a very long time. And I just... I was just in there wiping myself and just got on with the rest of my day afterwards. So yeah. I might have gotten my braces tightened before or after um, the miscarriage. Can I interrupt? Uh, yeah. Someone is suggesting, Jeremy uh-huh. from Ohio, that maybe she got fired because all her abortions were clogging up <laughs> <laughs> the plumbing in this particular building. Did you Did you look in the toilet after? Yes. And did you see anything that resembled life? Uh, Anthony, I did not care about it. I saw a lot of red. A lot of red. But did you see anything that might have had a hand? I wanted to look, but you know, I was kind of like... Yeah, if you look, you gotta name it. I was kind of freaked out by the whole incident, and I thought I was on my period, and if my girlfriend hadn't called me and told me it was a miscarriage, I would have left the tampon shoved up in there, and it would have probably been a mess on the bus. But no, you probably would have died of some kind of toxic shock syndrome. Do, do do you you knew you were pregnant? Yeah. And you just thought you were having your period while you're pregnant? Well, it happens. I heard no. You, I heard chicks get their period. You get no. You get like you could get like spotting and stuff. But if you get a full fledged period, there's a problem. You got to go to the hospital because oh. you're having a miscarriage. And if you plugged it up with a tampon, all that would stay in you, and you would get very sick. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, oh Matt from Queensbury. Oh my god. Francine's a woman and she's black and she still got fired. Wow, she must have really fucked up. Oh. Yeah, so what do they tell you? What happened? They just said it's not working out and you need to go. You need to go? Yeah. All right, what do you think? Did really you say happened? anything like, excuse me, I want I'd like a reason or Uh Well, uh I'd like to say that uh I like to plead the 7th and not say anything. Why the 7th? The 7th. Because then you don't incriminate yourself. That's the fifth. Whatever. I think isn't the seventh like giving women the vote or something? Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to take issue with that one too. <laughs> How did you plead the seventh? Because you self-incriminate 
Right. Yourself. Yeah, that's, by saying stuff. That's the fifth. So there's a lawsuit. Sexual harassment. Nice. What did he do? Ah, uh, no, no, no. uh, he's suing her. He he went from the he went for the poop shoot, didn't he? No, no, no. Okay. Then, right? no but, what happened? But, Where but, were no, no, no. But at my old job, one of my old bosses did try to drug me. Seriously. Drug you? Really? I've had probably. What do you yeah. wave a pinwheel in front of your eyes? <laughs> no, we went to a bar. That's a cheap roofie for her. <laughs> no, we went to a bar. Something colorful. <laughs> you went to a bar with your boss. No, well, I right had, there. That doesn't look good. Yeah, well, what happened was it was a very late night. It was like 6 o'clock, and I was really tired, and he offered me a ride home, and I was like, okay, I don't care. He always takes me home, like, when he goes to the city. He's just being friendly. So he said, you want to go to a bar? And I was like, yeah, sure. So we went to a bar, and when we got out the bar, I kind of felt woozy and stuff, and uh-huh. then we got in the car, and he was driving, and we're on a bridge, and we're about to cross the bridge, and I felt really lightheaded and fainty. So I ran out of the car at the bridge, and a police guy picked me up, and they called the ambulance. And then we went ambulance. to the hospital, and they didn't do any tests on me, but I could I swear that guy put something like cocaine or crack or something in my drink. That would make, make you sleepy. Tired. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, it would kind of... By the way, you pled, you're, you're pleading the seventh, right, which is uh, in suits... At, in suits at common law where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be oh. preserved and no fact tried by a jury so shall be otherwise reexamined in any court of the United States yeah. than according to the rules of the common law. That's double jeopardy. Then. You're pleading the right to trial by jury <laughs> is what you pled. Okay, I guess so. That's is that the, the same seven. thing as the fifth? Yes. Yeah, it's exactly the yeah, same. As a matter of fact, it's a redundant, uh, yeah. Do you call Howard now? What? You call Howard show. Are you serious? I swear to God, someone's saying He's you call Howard. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, okay, when you guys were off the air. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, what? Happened? No, 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 no. Oh, no. I tried to listen to Stern. He is terribly boring. There's a lot of dead air, and Robin sucks. Right. So I didn't listen to them. Then I tried to listen to Hot 97 because you know I'm black. And right. I couldn't get into it. They sucked as well. And I think that was the... Remember the guy that came in here? Uh, you know Star. Who, yeah, I tried to listen to Star. He's really, I really funny. I think he's on the radio right now. He's really hmm. funny, but I, I don't really... I don't, I don't really get either. his show either. Why like, is somebody her. saying that she was on the show? No, absolutely not. Probably just not. some girl with the same type of voice. No way. She's been very loyal to this show. Yeah. I would never. And I tried to I listen. to ask. It's all good. Curtis and Kuby, I tried them. I tried uh, I tried everybody. And mm. what I did was I went into severe depression. Oh, no. And I cried. And then one day you guys were back and I started listening again. Um, that's wonderful. But Some people are saying your fetus committed suicide. <laughs> well, good for it. <laughs> <laughs> good for it. Yeah, didn't your boss used to give you money for no reason? Is this the same boss? No, no, no. I, I worked I for... W- Four or five people, I cannot remember, and one of them was like the guy who owned the whole thing, and like one of them worked under him, and I was like right, office how- manager, secretary chick, so I did everything for them. I wrote their letters and did their little real estate research stuff and stuff. So how did you get fired? You can't give, you can't tell us anything. Um, I can say that there is a particular individual that might have had it in for me. Why? A chick. A right? girl. Is this a a, a, a bit, chick bitch that's fight? not as hot as you, right? Mm. Boss's wife. <laughs> but I don't. I don't. No, well, not really. Uh oh. I, I I don't know, but I I think they just they just had it in, and that was just it. They just wanted to get rid of me. I didn't do anything, seriously. Like, all I did was that work. That might have been the problem. Oh, you did the work. Okay, I thought when you didn't do anything, you just kind of came in and didn't no, do anything. I came in at 9 o'clock or 8.30 or whatever, and I left at 5 o'clock. And wh- So why was the firing? I don't know. I'm just really sad about it. Oh, no. Do you, do you have, like, a resume and stuff? You I do. Another job? Yeah. Then, are they going to give you a reference? <laughs> Uh, they told me they would. I was like, yeah, like I'll use you. Huh. They fired me. They're not going to give me a good reference. Reference? No. Can you bring uh, your resume in so we could go over it? We would like you? to go over your resume. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we'll get yes. you a job. Really? What do you want, do you want to do next? We'll put your resume out there really? over the air, and then if you get a good job offer, uh, we'll field it for you. Yeah. What do you want to do? Like, here's a good opportunity for you. Think about I this. I'll do the same thing. 
But but Clogged did toilets? you enjoy unclogging toilets with a phone it. call? I didn't do it myself. <laughs> Calling Rotor Rooter. Oh, they did say. you enjoy that? I did call Rotor Rooter. That's the name, and away goes troubles down the drain. That's their slogan. <laughs> but did you enjoy it? Or because now's your opportunity. Now you got to look at this as opportunity for you to now move on to do something you want to do and that you enjoy. Well, um, I did get a degree in communications, so I mm-hmm. really wanted a broadcasting job, but nobody ever hired me or called me back. Um, They're tough jobs to get. Yeah. What yeah. college? Uh... I went to NYU. Oh, boy. Oh. To make a film. Tuition just went way down. <laughs> <laughs> and I graduated. <laughs> you graduated. All right, we're running out of show, uh, Francine. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, thanks for putting it out there. What do you think, as a black woman, uh, I must ask you, what do you think about this whole uh, having a funeral for the N-word? Uh, the NAACP Did is having a, it. Yeah, they're they're having a funeral for it. Yeah. A funeral? Yeah, they're actually. Are they going to bury a, it? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. They're going to. Is there, there going to be a coffin with like N I G G E R in it? I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know. That would be hilarious. <laughs> it would really be funny. We were thinking if there was a tombstone, Aww. and that's like written on it, and you just stop by every so often and remember it. Oh well. I don't like the N-word because I think it's very mean and inconsiderate to say it. But in rap music, I think it makes a lot of sense and it makes the music sound very, very uh, street. Oh, that's actually a pretty good argument. Argument. I, I like think they should keep it alive. Russell Simmons, Simmons yeah. I think, said the exact same thing on Oprah. Yeah, you I'm like, kinda... well, how are you going to be hardcore and not say bitch, ho, slut, nigger? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Somehow you saying it sounds like a white girl from Connecticut oh, saying it. Trust me, she's black. <laughs> it's uh, she's black. I'd say she's, all right. N-word stays. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And you go. Oh. Because uh, we have to end the show. Give us your resume, though. I will. I'll bring it. Oh, my sister wants to meet you. She hot? Real sister or yeah, like she's, sister? No, uh, she's my E-R, not A. All right. And uh, what does she do? Is she hot, though? She's 15. She's okay, hot. So that's a yes. <laughs> you got uh, a picture? Yeah, she's cute. You got she's a picture of her? You have a picture? Yeah. You got a picture? Let's see. It's in my purse in the back. All right, go get it. Yeah. Go get a picture of her. Let's see what she looks like. Why are you covering your butt, by the way? Come on. You usually show it off when you come. Gotta show that ass. Are you turtling? <laughs> <laughs> she probably has a log poker now. She's embarrassed. Here is your line of the day. <laughs> Line of the day. Line of the day. Line of the day. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> or there'd be like all these zombie yeah. movies. Uh, Franken. <laughs> That's uh, I, I, I brought it back to life, and um, Franken is uh. Yeah, he's back alive again. <laughs> and the bride of Franken. <laughs> and, uh. And now he's pissed. <laughs> yeah, 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 jerk. <laughs> yes! Oh! oh no one. I'm off the hook. I like it. Aw, oh, she's adorable. Is she adorable? She has braces. Yeah. That's, Let me see, Francis. That's what you need. Your family has very good, uh, dental, uh,. Care? We're rich. <laughs> We're rich, bitch. Which one is your sister? Oh, the one on the left, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who's the one on the right? That's my cousin. See, you know something? If you're going through the um, Marsha Brady thing, she right now is going through that Jan phase. You know, with the glasses and the braces. I had braces and glasses once. Yeah. Too. See, but you could tell she's going to blossom into... Um, oh, she's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. It's in D.C. This is Very nice. Yeah. It's next to the monument. Yes, it is. Which one? The uh, Washington. Oh. Which I thought one? you meant that. Budinsky Memorial. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, which one is that? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Budinsky? Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I Christ. I want to get it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ah, don't worry about but, it. Yeah, it's... That's okay. It's just uh, it's another one of the many fact. wonderful monuments that are all around our great capital. The price yeah. of the sweaters went through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is that near the Capitol or something? Yeah. The old what the hell did I do memorial? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should end. Hey, we'll always get in trouble. I, I have swear. to shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> Francine, the last word goes to you. <laughs> yes, Francine. Last word. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. That's it. I can't do it. I don't know what to say. I'm just really depressed. Aww. And I cried last night. I cried my eyes out. I was so depressed. What makes you happy? Money and lots of money, money, money. What about a good wow? Good deep dicking. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's right, Jimmy. I like a good deep dicking. Wow. We combine that with money, we could talk. <laughs> <laughs> I will not have sex for money, but if you take me to three dinners, I will. Three? You're I'll, a three dinner girl? I'll fucking, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just hand you three steaks in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> what does it take to get in your back door? Uh, take more I'd say six months. Six months. Six months. Six months for the shitter. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That'll take a while. Six months Damn. for oral okay. and the back door. Wait for you to give. Yeah. Yeah, you'll you'll take on the first like date. Are you serious? No, no, no. I said no? three dinners. Oh, three dinners. What kind of dinners though? Are we talking like McDonald's? Yeah. It's like uh, here's oh. a Hardee's. Like while you're fun finishing your third burger, <laughs> uh, someone's <laughs> looking at your box. <laughs> 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 Three dinners could be okay. If One you, has to be red lobster. You just hear the <laughs> from the drink being done. You got the cup on the top of his head as he's fucking <laughs> opening her little skirt. <laughs> red lobster. Uh, I'm not really a fan of red lobster, but if you mm. want to take me to red lobster, I will go. More expensive or less expensive than Red Lobster? She just likes more. The, she, I uh, bet she likes the the high end places. No, no, no. I no. like ethnic foods. I like yeah. um. I like Iranian, you know, and I like Ethiopian, and I like Indian, and I like, like bugs? West Indian. Yeah, I never understood food. the Ethiopian a restaurant beetle? thing. It's hot. Is it's it? It's good stuff. It's really spicy, though. I like you know spicy what I like? food. Thai food? Of course. Like Do you like spicy. Thai? And Japanese. It's the only way you make the dirt taste good. Do you like... <laughs> Spice it up a little. You like uh, uh, Indian food? Yes. Like that spicy type food? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good stuff. Yeah, and I like Japanese too. Japanese and Japanese. Good. There you go. You're in. After those three. <laughs> See, so it doesn't matter as long as the food is good. But if you're a good company and you you withstand my horrendous conversations, and oh, uh, you know how easy it would be to fake a uh, good conversation with you. I think Francine just to get laid. A better conversationalist than you yeah. think. We've spent time together at the comedy cellar where we should come by and hang out. Yeah, she's a uh, very. Yeah. Capable of holding a fine conversation. See, so all it takes is three, but most guys don't make it to three. Someone's suggesting, what about one. taking you out for two dinners and then you could just eat Italian? <laughs> 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 no. That's, uh, I like the three funny. dinner rule. Fair yeah. enough. Or three dates or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, m money uh, is important for what? A, re a relationship? Well, I, I think I make... Uh, enough money. Um, so no, you don't. You're unemployed right now. Well, oh, right now I'm not, I'm not making anything, but I think if you're a guy mm -hmm. and you're about my age, I'm 27, if you're pushing 30, you should make at least $50,000 a year a for a guy. Scale. For a guy. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to take me out and like pay for everything. Right. What at about the first three? Now, this, this doing you in the shitter uh, thing, uh, is that... The, from the first date, you make an X on the calendar, and then three months to the day, are we talking? Are you that strict about it, or are you willing to maybe two and a half months? Mm, all right. If you flatter me enough, it right. could go by a lot faster. Ah, okay. I like flattery. And I'm not talking flowers and all the bullshit stuff. I mean, I would like flowers, but most guys are too stupid to realize how much we like it. But Flattery in a way of like flat just telling you you look nice or things like that. And call me a lot. Call you a lot. Yeah, call me like every day, but at they, least but twice they, a day. But they just buried that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Buried what? <laughs> Let's just not even go any yeah, further. Well. We uh, <laughs> we better go. Of course <laughs> we, we better. better. Get out of here, Francine. You always get us uh, in trouble. Francine, you're a troublemaker. Yeah. 
We love you, friends. Hey, I got the... Uh, Get us your uh, resume. Thank we, you. Well, uh, can I come by tomorrow with my sister? Yeah. No. Uh, you no. said she really wants no. to take a picture no. with you. No, no. Oh. I think... I think that'd be a good idea. It's probably good. All right, we'll do it on If tomorrow. you never show up here again. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. No, that's... Uh, that's uh, I bring your resume. Okay, I'll... Yeah. All I'll, right. All right, bye. You don't have to leave. Okay. Oh.